Maybe. Maybe tilt it more to the left. Like, yeah. Okay. Like that? Oh, it's more centered. Are we back? Are we back? Are we back? Are we back? I can't believe that, bro. 500 people, and then we have to start it over. It's oh, fucking well. cringe. We're popping. Stop the stream. Uh, mobile's so weird. Sometimes you have to like manually stop it before it actually does anything. Yeah, like look, we're doing we're live twice. Yeah. It's so lame. One second, y'all. Sorry about this. That says live though. They both are live. They both are live? Yeah, so like this one needs to be st stopped. But you have, you have to do it like manually. I've had this happen before, it's super annoying. Welcome back, y'all. Welcome back. Yeah, fi uh, the phone overheated. I apologize for that. Uh, I'll get everything fixed in a second. The bonfire was too extravagant. Very sorry. Um, I'm surprised that you can even just use your phone to live stream out here anyways. To right. be completely honest. Pretty tight. That's pretty cool. Just go to the new one, the new stream. Yeah, but there's like a split audience now. Well, I'm just we'll see if I private it. Anyway. Oh. All right. We back. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Thanks for waiting. Uh, lost <laughs> most of you. I'm sure it'll accumulate again. Uh, let me fix the this. We got the phone a lot farther back now. So let us know. How the volume is right now because uh, the fucking phone overheated from the fire all right big f in the chat can we get an f in the chat for all the donos i missed also desolate i'm pretty sure donated to y'all are some mad supporters uh it's a dope man from new york that has been uh big dicky dine supporters for grip let's go appreciate y'all well, look at them f's we'd love to see it we're and, back and we're back we got a better shot of the fire this time, though. It's kind of nice. The, the culprit. This bandito. All right, I'm trying to take a shot. That was stressful. <laughs> 
Are we back? Are we back? We're back. We're back officially. We back. We got some fire. Let's go. Uh, we got Lucifer. Lucifer builds out here. Says, "Hey fellas, I sent you a custom guitar I'm building on Insta. Could you let me know what you think of it?" Wait, uh, you sent it yeah, where? You, yeah, to both of us or one of us. Either way, thank you for I'm the twenty dollar dono. Me, but yeah, he's the guitar guy. Hey fellas, I sent you a custom guitar I'm building on Insta. Can you know what you think of it? Yeah, sure. Yeah, tag. Honestly, too, if you're using Instagram. Uh, at least for me, I don't know for you. If you tag me rather than DM me, I'll be way more likely to see you. Yeah. Tag me. Because the, the DMs, and Instagram has like three categories for DMs, and it is insane. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Primary, general, and message requests. Yeah. And they're all filled. And even in message <laughs> requests, you have all requests and top requests. It's it actually crazy. Yeah. Honestly. There's so <laughs> much. So much. It's stressful. So much shit. Yeah, it's so funny when people are like, "Where's the best way to, to get a hold of you?" I'm like, uh, "You gotta email me, or uh, you gotta at me on Twitter. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta at me somewhere. You cannot. If you DM me, I'm not gonna see it. I promise." Cheers. So cheers, man. You know, some Mandarin vodka. This shit's tasty. Cheers, boys. Take a little shot with us. Let's also, go. Also, can you guys hear me? Just me, not, so. him. Just, not just not him. Just me. <laughs> just, yeah. <laughs> you hear him? Let's go. Wait, was that a 10,000? What is that? 10,000 COP? What is Yo, that? cop? Are you a narc? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what COP is, but 10,000 of anything seems like a crazy... It seems like a lot. Thing. Thank you. Appreciate you. Hey. Hi. What's up, honey? How's How you going? doing? We have, we have the chair sitting over here if you want to sit down. Yeah, come through. It's in frame. Come oh. relax. How's dinner? Can we play? Uh, Gene, thank you for the oh. the 10,000 cop. Uh, I really appreciate that. It says, Dickie, I've been trying to find the song where you whistle scream. What's the name? See, everyone just wants to talk uh, to you, bro. No, all I do is you guitar. Everyone just wants to guitar. talk to you, bro. No, that's like the second time I've been Dickie, Austin, 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 Dickie. Austin. Dickie. I'm not feeling the love over here. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Uh, Lucifer, thank you for the five dollar, and he said I just added you guys on my post. Perfect. Let's go. Uh, my phone's streaming right now, but I'll check it out after the stream. Oh yeah. Uh, Cedric, thank you for the twenty dollars. Says hi from Canada. The Let's Scion go. album was the best album I've heard in a very long time. Okay. Hey, Metal Calm that, down. That was right before that. that Calm before down. You, you know, it's okay. It's pretty sweet. Don't, it, that don't, was, that don't was do a lot that. Of people's top ten albums, dog. Don't do that. You hit a lot of people's it was albums right. in the year. Uh, I don't like the compliments. Tara okay. Marie, or is it Marie or Mary? Looks it like says, uh, uh, Marie. Currently in the hospital. Hell yeah, shout out. <laughs> Been here for five days. Thank you for streaming. This is the only thing that's kept me entertained in days. Love you both. Let's so, go, Tara Marie. Very sorry to hear you're uh, stuck in the hospital, but we are more than happy to help alleviate some of that. Hopefully uh, it's just a bad fun. case of Crohn's. A bad case of Crohn's disease. The light, crone, the light crone. The light crone's. Great name for the Tony Dollar Dono says, What are the ducks' names? The ducks? Hammonds? Hammonds? And pickles. pickles. If you say it <laughs> consecutively, it's ham and pickles. Baby, the worst sandwich you'll ever have. I want to have one now. Ham and pickles. You're going to have to make me a ham and pickle sandwich yeah. after this stream, bro. It won't be good. I want it. I want it. Uh, I want it. Dan Halen says, Hey, Austin, who's your friend next to you with that? <laughs> That's why he's See? doing it. He's doing it to See? make a meme on you. <laughs> you're getting memed on. Jerry. Everyone knows that you're the fucking selling point of this channel. I'm a the goat. The goat. Hey Austin, uh, do you think you could find fit a uh, house in, in your cock? <laughs> Who said that? Yeah, that's so funny that I like couldn't say it. Like the reveal <laughs> made that way funnier that I like was butchering the fuck out of it. What's the, how'd you, I have you a house. house in your cock? I want it to sit in your cock. Can you like do that uh, for me? Or, like, I can probably put one of those Monopoly houses. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff it up in there. Oh, Jared, have played a, a bossy guitar? I have. I have two. I have <laughs> two. I have a seven I string and an eight string. That's and nice. they're fucking amazing. I have played them. So I got the uh, the cat guitar. So Tosin, oh, a, the cat. a bossy, yeah, the guy good. who owns the company, my <laughs> my good friend Tosin. Who's that? Um, no, he uh, 
he hit me up and he was like, hey, I want to give you a guitar. And I was like, okay, cool. Can you put like cats on it or something? And so he literally made me an eight string Abbasi cat guitar and sent it to me. That's so it was like so sick. It was so sick. Well, it was a one on one. And then someone saw it and wanted the same thing because they're fucking posers. Cowards. They're fucking copycats. And so there is Damn. two of them now. Damn. After that. But then I got a pink one that's a seven string. And I play that one all the time. It's fucking amazing. I that love man. that guitar. That's so sick. I though. fucking love that's that. That's so guitar. sick that he sent those to you. Yeah. Uh, Jonathan donated again. Let's I, go, I, Jonathan! I, I thought you went to work. Are you the bro. CEO of Microsoft? Yeah. How are you getting this money? Is bro? that why you keep saying you're about to go to work? Because you're actually like a stocks trading guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go to work eventually. I don't need the money, but, you know. Thank you for the dono. And Jonathan says, Jared, you know you're special in my heart. Don't feel left out. <laughs> you are a god amongst men. Aw. Thank you so much, Jonathan. I appreciate you. Uh, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Hey, guys. Out here with my best friend, Mark, awesome. Mark Zuckerberg, smoking some meats. Smoking some meat are here with my best friend. Yo, Asia Rice says, don't feel alone. Jared, your guitar work on the song The Blade with Howard Jones was insane. It was not. It was not insane. The riff, the entire song is bow da da bow da 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 da bow da bow da bow da da bow da There's nothing insane about that, bro. I appreciate you. Thank you, but it's it's not that insane. It just it just it just vibes. It just vibes. I also got to give a shout out to my producer, shout out Hiram, producer. who helped me write that entire record because it would not be what it was if it wasn't for him. Sure. So fucking shout out to Hiram, dude. That guy is fucking sick. The stream is so hot. That's funny. Because because the, the it stopped. Yeah. We're already at 3:30, dude. We're yeah. gonna get back to yeah, 500. We're, we're catching up. No Let's problem. Go. Let's go. And the sun's. Just barely coming that down. is just to get multiple content. Multiple we have content. one live stream that's like an hour and a half, and now we're gonna have another one that's like an hour and a half, and then the phone will like do something stupid. We'll have another fall one into for like an hour and a half. Crash and overheated. We'll oh, have fucking. We'll, we'll, we'll have like three videos. <laughs> three new videos for Dicky Dine Show, bro. Let's go. Sheesh. Uh, just your <laughs> load. Uh, yeah, do you want to sacrifice the cat and throw her <laughs> on the fire? And... Yeah, can you snag one of the squirrels? I'm feeling kind of hungry. Let's have some you cat meat. Can a squirrel meat. out this guy? Oh, yeah, so snag her right <laughs> uh, Wesley, thank you for the $2 dono, says, Have y'all seen Infinite Gym YouTube stream? No. What is it? it was a 24-hour I can imagine what it is. Of gent. It, infinite. So it's just constantly it. live playing gent on, like, a gent, uh, like, like, have you seen that fucking uh, gent um, generator, where they just the generate generator. like like ti like tons of gent, like da 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 Brennan King says, love you guys so much. Been a fan for a long time. Got me through high school and uh, life since I was 14. Since you were 14? Sheesh. I know. Do we I'm getting too fucking old to be doing, doing this, this for shit, like man. Seven years. I'm getting way too old to be doing this shit, That's dog. crazy. That's Almost insane. a decade. I've seen wow. comments like that so many times. I know. Like, what do you mean? You're where right? it's like, oh, I, I, I watched you when I was 13. I'm 20 now. Like, I'm just like. You do that lip quiver? <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, what the fuck, dude? Too long. Hey, cheers. Cheers, we gotta cheers it, remember? Cheers the bomb rip. Oh no, you're a catastrophe. Austin, you made $47 for jury duty. Really? Yeah, for gas rounds, uh, I guess. Wait, you actually went to jury duty? Yeah, You didn't get out of that shit? No, I, I was scared, I didn't Bro. know. I get out of it every fucking yeah, time. Yeah, I know. I realize now how trivial it is, like, after going through the process and everyone telling me online that it was like, you really didn't get out of that. I was like, dude, they made it sound so, because I've got out of it before. And it says in, like, all red, it was like, you get one. You get, I've you gotten know, out of it three yeah, times. Yeah, everyone, every, you can do that. It's just there to scare people like me into going. <laughs> yeah, you got, you what, what, was, what was the case? 
Uh, what, was, what was the case? Dude, you know what? I don't know if you can legally talk about it. I can't. Uh, but what but, was it? But tell me, <laughs> tell me. No, what I can talk about, though, is how insane people are, bro. The amount of times... Uh, yeah, that, like, dude, there was for a, real. There was a guy that, like, stood up and was... They asked him a question, and uh, he was... They were like, oh, sir, so... You, you, in the past, have been a victim of assault, correct? And he's like, yeah. So, would this affect your decision-making going forward in the process? And he's like, mm, probably. And they're like, so, like, if if this person is accused, just being accused alone, would that, like, of a violence, would that, a, like, sway your opinion? He's like, yeah, pr- absolutely. Uh, and they're like, hmm, okay. So it's like, okay, we'll get this guy out of here. Then. He's clearly, like, got a bias of, like, his own personal experience if just being a... Because you're supposed to be innocent until proven guilty. So, like, yeah. just being accused of you be violence, you shouldn't unbiased. be like, that guy did it. Because yeah. that's not the point of this. But I broke the the lawyer on the uh, the defense and on the offense both tried to persuade him to stay. Like, well, what about, what if it was, like, legally you had to hear out the trial? And he's like, well, I don't know. I probably still just say So they did wanted it. him to yeah, they were tr- this guy. They were trying so hard to make him be like, can you stay? We actually really like that you're like a piece of shit. <laughs> this, the guy we're trying is yeah. a piece of shit. And then, dude, so we need you here. They tried so hard to get him, and it was you know it's so funny too. I actually was like I nerded and I try I did a, I try hard to like get on. I tried to get picked. I like stood up and was like actually you know like I did like said some shit that I was like this is this is compelling. Uh, well yeah, it was not even like a second glance. Uh, but the dude, this woman that got picked, I, this is so funny. She said. <laughs> Uh, I don't remember what the question was, but her answer was, I have, uh, she's like, I'm a very, I'm, ex- I'm an extremely judgmental person. I've already made up my mind about every single person in this room. Jesus Christ. Mind you, this is mask mandate, so like, there's 80 people in this room that this woman is not interacting with at all, and she's already made up her mind about all of us. Yeah. Uh, and she, the person asked, like, well, why, like, what are your principles of, like, how you judge somebody? And she said, uh... Things like their their hygiene, their posture, uh, their education, and I was like, "How do you know everyone's education in here?" Just by you like, you can't judge someone. Off what are you their talking about? Yeah, on top of that, but like also, yeah. there's 80 people in here. You know all of our backgrounds to judge us so agree, like so confidently. <laughs> I will never do jury duty, and I will always. Yeah, jury duty is cringe, bro. Fuck jury duty. Yeah, appreciate you, Brennan. Thank you so much, Jonathan, and thank you, Great Nate. If I've missed anybody, I apologize. For some reason, the smaller donos just, like, are there for a minute. Like, they should just be there for a while, regardless. Yeah. I remember uh, I was 14 getting weird looks at 6.45 a.m. on the school bus because I was blaring Demogorgon. Uh, I'm 21 now. <laughs> let's go! That's pretty tight. Demogorgon, That's, that's gotta go. be a cool feeling, dude. Like, I remember being, like, that kid, you and I were yeah, doing yeah, up the yeah. different bands. So I was like, listening to fucking Linkin Park and Down with the Sickness and P.O.D. Yeah. And... Dude, it was so funny. I would get, like, one day I'd be listening to Viral Reanimation by Oceano, and the next I'd be listening to the 3D by Icy Stars. So yeah. it's like, depending on the day somebody picked on me, I could, you could make fun of it. Like, this dude. pop music I'm listening to or this crazy metal. Dude, the funny thing about Demogorgon, it was literally filmed in someone's living room that was like 500 square feet That's four, so funny. 400 square feet crazy what you can do with the tiny and they just filled it with fog put lights everywhere and just said okay the, just act it that's, out that's literally the formula bro yeah and um, I was like it was small, small if you have a small space lights fill it with fog mm-hmm. and film it close and it'll look you won't even notice how small that room is dude it was someone's <laughs> living room so, dude, the, the Dark Watch uh, music video that we did was in somebody's, like, shed that was yeah. so tiny, but there was, like, tools everywhere. Yeah. But it, they made, like, he made it look like it was so big in there. It was not at all. It's, cr- it. it's crazy what you can do with a camera. Oh, for sure. For sure. For so, sure. Brennan, I know all Super Chats get answered, but damn, that made my heart happy. I'm 19 now, by the way, so a good handful of years. That's awesome, man. Thank you. Really appreciate your support. That's crazy. That's so crazy to hear, man. Bumping like, Demogorgon back in the day. That'd be, that's crazy to think about, huh? Kids on the bus bumping music you wrote. I don't like, want to think about that. Why? That's I don't awesome. want to because that's that, awesome. that, I don't, that makes me feel weird. I, I don't know. Why does that make you feel it weird? It makes me feel weird because like, I am not, I, I'm not anyone that someone should like look up to or no, really be no listening to. No one is. And like it's, it, it's just, I don't know. The fact that it, it's if someone show, like resonated with it, like it doesn't, 
it's not like they chose you out of a lineup. You put out something that hits somebody in a special spot. I just never That's thought tight. I would ever do that. I just never thought I would ever do that. Well, you get to that point. You have. Many a time. It's fucking awesome. So weird. So weird. Is that the devil's lettuce? No, nah, bro, this is God's lettuce. This is God's lettuce, This is bro. God's cabin. We're Jewish, bro. <laughs> God yeah. told us what, what day is it. It's, it's Friday. As a Jewish person, we're supposed to get it's lit Friday, on Friday, bro. okay? I'm trying to drink some Hebrews, dude. You feel know what I'm saying? Some brews from a he. Did you, uh... Yeah, what's that local acoustic duo? Uh, he is we? Yeah. Yeah, they're still around. Did you know that? No. Yeah, they're still around. No, no, they changed it to she is we. Did they? Yeah. Oh, because it's just the girl who goes yeah. now? It's actually kind of funny. They changed it. For, it was he is we, then it was she is we, and I haven't heard shit from that. And, sure. and, and now it's just she is we. That was just we. It's one word. <laughs> yeah. We. It's the we meme. We. O U. It's just we. It's just we. Thank you guys for being here. We really appreciate you joining us. We have almost 400 people here. That's crazy. Let's go. Wow. Let's go. You asked for tips. That's the iconic question. Huh? Ask more than tits, but a good pair of tits is very nice. Yeah, absolutely. I, but if like if like you know Plus, the ass is like that's the that's that's the meal. Mm -hmm. The ass is the meal. That's true. That's yeah. what you're dining on. Yeah. And the tits, the like tits a, are like like, like they're small, like your side. big, they're like the drink, whatever. The drink on the side. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. I need like, this for my meal, but it's not. Everything. But the ass is like, damn girl, in those pants, you look fucking fine. Ooh. I'm gonna dine on that. About shit. to act up. Tits are like, whatever. That's, I don't really care fair. about that. You know, honestly, sometimes cleavage is more hype than tits. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think. Uh, but that's just I, me. I think I feel the same way, honestly. Plus, too, like you're doing yourself a favor because uh, I don't think cancer would ever take an ass. So, like. But they'll you, take. Yeah, you'll never have a, the tits. attachment issue. Of, like that's what, if you still got your sweet ass. Really, <laughs> it's fine. So if you're dating a girl that gets cancer, you know she still will have a fat yeah, ass. As long as if you pick a girl that's got that potentially might have cancer, you should probably check if she's got a dumper first. Is all I'm saying. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Last time I heard, it was they is we. <laughs> they is we. After they got caught up in some progressive drama. Progressive drama is a funny thing. G is we. Thank you for the donation. That's what it's called now. G, G, G is G. G is G. Jean Paul Jean. Uh, Hannah Cohen says... Hey, that's my friend. Oh, this is your friend? That's my friend. Oh, sorry we missed your other donor. You didn't have to donate again. Well, What'd maybe you, you did because What'd, I probably missed you say? it. She said, I'm going to She said, love to see you following God's word <laughs> and getting drunk on Friday. A Jew. <laughs> love your work, by the way. <laughs> I love the sign by a Jew. I love your work. <laughs> That's really funny. Thank you for the love donut you. and the funny comment. My wife had cancer and that ass is a dumper. Yeah, I, I, I'm switching to Judy, Judaism, dude. They can party, they can fuck, Bro, they I'm can drink. I'm switching to Bootyism. Bootyism. Yeah. The, the religion we can all follow. The sacred booty. It's the best. Yo, know, Jonathan with another two two high donation says, My friends and I went to Walmart and blared Infinite Annihilator on speakers that I had in my pocket. Manager was scared of us and quietly muttered, Shut that off and walked away. You, you know what's funny? It's like I wouldn't usually believe a story like that just because it's like such a metalhead like Reddit thing to be like, I'm scared him with my music. But I've straight up seen the most pussy fucking Walmart managers do stuff like that, where they're like, this guy's a problem, I'm gonna go whisper behind him and not get his full attention. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like, so yeah. I, I, I actually do believe that a manager, like, wimpishly was like, Bro, remember that time that I gave uh, Austin a uh, post? Mm -hmm. An Infant Annihilator vinyl? Yeah. And he was reading off the tracks, and he said, Blasphemian Rhapsody? Uh -huh. And it's not an actual song. Right, he yeah. made it it's up. It's just called Blasphemy. There needs to be a fucking song That'd be good. called Blasphemy and Rhapsody. That'd be, that would be 
fucking so sick. Oh, we can do a... We, if if it's not going to happen before we make mashup. it, we need to make it. We can do the cursed mashup of Bohemian and that, that it fits on. Dude, it's just horrible. Blasphemy and Rhapsody, that's such a good fucking name. I love <laughs> that shit. That's funny. Super deathcore, just like gross. Oh, I love it. <laughs> It'd be awesome. It'd be awesome. Alex Dudley says, much love all the way from New Zealand. Sheesh! Yo, thank you for the New Zealand bucks. You guys are the best. Been watching you guys for years. P.S. What's your favorite cannabis strain? Um, probably, probably fucking wedding cake. Wedding cake, gelato. Oh, number uh, three. I'm, a, I'm an indica guy. Yeah, me too. Um, wedding cake or gelato or anything perp. Granddaddy perp. That's fine. Um, yeah. I haven't had a bad perp. Dude, pineapple, uh, purple pineapple express. That's a really good one. Um, grape ape. I love all that shit. That's yeah. just like, oh, it's so good. Dude, yeah, that's so a good, good point, honestly. All that shit you listed, I fuck with. Sorry. Dude, I love all uh, of that shit. I think the only other one I can think of that I like, out of a lineup would be like, hmm, was uh, Rude Boy. Have you ever heard that? Rude story? Boy or Slurricane? I like Rude Boy. Slurricane's really good. Mm -hmm. I really like Those nine pound hammer joints were crazy. Dude, nine Hammer. We almost wrote a song called Nine oh, Pound yeah. Hammer. That's so funny. I because of that. how fucking sick yeah, that, that was, strain that was is. Nice. That was a good strain. I like that one a lot. Yeah, Nine Pound or yeah, Nine Pound Hammer, dude. That's you just guys fucked with, You guys fucked with wax at all? Yeah, uh, I did for a little bit, but honestly, like it's just it's harsh. It's a lot of effort. It's a lot of upkeep to get like the butane butane lighters. Uh, you sound like a pussy right now. I, dude, that's fine. I, that's, <laughs> that's like when I was drinking in my my youth, and I would get like these really delicious drinks, and everyone would be drinking beer, and they're like, "Bro, that is so fucking gay of you." And I'm like, "That's totally fine. <laughs> this is so good. This that's drink totally is so fun. goddamn good. That's though. totally fine. You can drink your twelve care. beers and piss every five seconds. I'm gonna have three of these delicious, yummy fruity drinks <laughs> and be coasting, dog. So like." You can harass me all you want. I'm drinking the, the peach ring drink. I don't Fair give a enough. fuck. Fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. They are scrumptious. I will admit it. They're very good. Ooh, the Durban poison. <laughs> this is uh, got one of those the other day. Cheers. Honorable mentions: Purple Monk. Purple Monk. I've never tried Purple Monk. Purple Monk. Yeah. I, I, sometimes I try to shorten words, but they're already words. Mm. That was my bad. Purple Monkey. I've never tried that. But anything purple, I fucking love. Yeah. That's just fire. You know the uh, uh, black furred poodles, uh, penises that are purple? What? The erect penis of a black furred poodle is purple. You said you love everything purple. How do you know that? Because I owned a, a poodle or two or five. And you saw his erect Yeah, he, penis? They, they, they bred him with the other dog. Nice. And they, they had to like, help him find the hole. Did you smoke his penis? Did I smoke his penis? Yeah. yeah. Because you're saying everything's uh, purple, that's fun to smoke, is good. Smoke? What, no, you said that. <laughs> I, yeah, that's, what, that's the whole point of the topic. Well, you just said everything that's purple is good. Like, dog cock. Black <laughs> fur poodle. Yeah. Purple penis. Got a purple peen, dude. Bro. That's got to jerk them off sometimes. That's a thing. People, did, did they do that? Yeah, there's jobs where people have to... Bobby Lee's wife used to do that. Or girlfriend. Over I like she's, Bobby she's, Lee. She used to jerk off dogs. Not for fun, but for a good job. <laughs> no, thanks for clarifying, not for I fun. Don't want you to make a yeah, thank you. This is not something they do on a Saturday night. It's just her job. Thank you for clarifying. I appreciate that. She's not just Jesus out there jerking off dogs for no reason. <laughs> not dude, what's that what's that girl's name? But Whitney Houston. No, not Whitney Houston. Uh, Whitney Whitney Wisconsin, remember her? No. She was the girl that was talking about fucking dogs and like got into controversy with Leafy. She just oh. was. Oh. That's kind of funny. Well, she actually was fucking dogs. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, yeah. Like, yeah she's the she dog, actually she's was. She's the real life dog fucker. I think she got arrested. Depends what state you live in, but mostly it's illegal. <laughs> what state is it? She did not illegal. Okay. Probably like Alabama. <laughs> You've been sacrificed to the gods. Oh, metal, true cold metal. Jesus Christ. Why did I wake up for dogs getting fucked by your hand? That is the craziest way to say jerk off. Why did you wake up in general, though? That's my... That, like, like, what... Why did you wake what up? What do you have to live for in this life? <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. This fire is so hot, dude. 
I'm literally frying Yo, we right can now. Screw back. We might need to. This is fucking enormous. <laughs> what? I can't hear you over the roar of this fucker. What's that? <sighs> phone well, overheating cake. No, the phone's pretty far back. I don't think it's gonna overheat this time. Hopefully not. I'd be surprised. It did before. This dude at my school uh, fucked his cat on FaceTime. Crazy shit ever. I don't live in Florida anymore. <laughs> that guy is not going to have a good life. Looking back at the scene, dude. That guy is not going to have a good life. Dude. When you're known for the guy in high school who fucked his cat, your reputation is fucked. Dude, there was a... It a, is fucked. You cannot come back from him. There's a girl in our high school that... Uh, like, a, a video went, like, viral, not viral, but, like, spread around of her, like, masturbating with crayons, like, a handful of Crayola crayons. That is much better than fucking a cat. Yeah, absolutely, but it's still, like, 100%. the nickname stuff, like, everyone called her, like, Crayola, or a <laughs> crayon girl and stuff. Crayola. Yeah, Crayola's a pretty funny name, honestly. What's up, Crayola? Can you not call me that? <laughs> well, you're the one that did it, so, <laughs> you know, that's on you. That's on you! Just saying, if you're gonna fuck a crayon, you deserve the name Crayola. Just saying. Yeah, it was a handful of crayons, too. A like, handful? Mm -hmm. The crayons are fragile. That's like a risky thing to do. Did you not have anything else nearby that you Right, right. Well, yeah, you're, I, I feel like your hands caught everybody. A bunch of crayons. <laughs> I feel like you're sorrowful, just like. I'm in deep remorse about it. Yeah, I just, I just don't get it, man. I just don't fucking get it. Like, I just don't get it. I don't. I really don't. It's so weird to me. I don't understand that. I wouldn't, like, who? What? Hit the bomb, bro. Let's go. Jesus Christ. And this one goes out to campus. <laughs> don't say that. Don't, don't fucking say that, dude. What's wrong with you? Let's not, let's not talk about cat pussy on this stream, You don't want okay? to cheers to that? Let's not cheers to cat pussy, okay? That is not something I ever want to think about. I don't care about that, ever. I will never care about that. I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to think about it. That's what makes it so funny. Oh my god. Let me hit my donger real quick. I can hit this son bitch around a corner. I can see that. Yeah, that, that will stretch. That will stretch from car to car. If you want, like, hey, here's a split. Split. Oh, good for now. Good I'll good probably good. hit that joint soon. Though. Yeah, let's do it. I can do that. Yo, Denny's. What the fuck? What the fuck is up, Denny's? What the fuck is up? I love that video. Here, Iconic video. video. Raise your dongers, boys. Dongers to the skies, fellas. Gotta go, but thank you, Jared. You were such a huge inspiration for me to become a drummer. Much love from Atlanta. Mario the Devil says. Mario the Devil, let's go. Hey, bro, you from Jersey? Cause damn, bro. Atlanta. I know, New Jersey Devil. Atlanta. The Atlanta Devil. He's from Atlanta, Austin. I'm so, my bad, I'm sorry. The joke didn't land. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm, I, I have that those moments scarred in my brain like every time I've said like a joke and somebody's just like, like that sucks <laughs> like it's like it's like unintentionally stored in my brain somewhere <laughs> just traumatizes you late at night See, there was, yeah there was one from yeah. Tony I made a joke about uh, there was like somebody hitchhiking with a cart but they had like a cardboard sign with a bunch of big letters on it and so it, in my brain it reminded me of those old cringy work videos of like you, you know the band members holding up the signs don't kill yourself. Yeah. That's a bad decision. <laughs> what a stance to take. Yeah. Uh, so I said, I was like, oh, that guy must be waiting for the warp tour, like, caravan. Uh -huh. uh, and it was around warp tour time, and so he was like, oh, what is that mean? Like, yeah, like, you know, because, like, that old video where they hold the cardboard sign. He's like, I, what is, I don't know what you're talking about. Dude, Tony. And he was like, this joke sucked. That joke literally makes no sense. I was like, but it makes sense. Just nobody gets it right now, I guess. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not a bad joke, and you're like really berating. He like was berating me. It's funny, it. but no one gets it. Yeah, my story, my life. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 
I'm like, did no one pick up that sick joke I just made? Like, damn, am I not funny? Was that like, or does no one get the joke I just made? Well, Tony's humor is very different from ours, for sure. The stuff he laughs at, I'm like, okay, that's like, fart, fart, poo, poo, pee, pee joke. It's not that funny. That's, who, then, you're, that's who you're selling to, though. That's the general public. I don't. I don't think that's a general public. I don't. I really don't. I, do. I think that's a small, small Bro, majority look at, of look the at public. Look at a viral video on Facebook, and it's good. I guarantee there's like some sort of low-level brain activity. It's like pee <laughs> pee fart fart joke. Want to see my boxes for you? Lay it on there, please. Just go. To reignite. <laughs> Reestablish. Oh, that is so Thank you. I did. How's uh, ah. steakhouse? How's that? Steakhouse? Yeah, we got steak? There. Yeah. Oh, what? And I didn't have to pay for mine. Yo, nice. <laughs> I don't usually do that. That's dope. Damn, bro. It's pretty high. Damn, bro. <laughs> I want some oh steak. Holy God. shit. Oh, I'm burning what's up that? in fire. What's, that, uh, what's the mountain or the volcano in uh, Tiny Nemo? I just don't want a hot dog. Is it gonna overheat your phone again? Huh? Is it gonna overheat your phone again? Oh, hopefully. That is so hot. You told me to do it. You feel the love tonight. I have a great view of your ass right now. Awesome. <laughs> hey, honestly, bro, any view of my ass is great. Any view, I love it. Surprise, bitches. <laughs> maybe, maybe I should skip this. Can I see Austin's ass? If not, I need to see it. That is so hot. <laughs> hey, uh, POV, you're watching Jared Dines burn alive. <laughs> Fucking nice, hey, you guys seen Mandy? Spoilers. Can you guys believe that Jared Dines is burning alive and not even screaming? What a tough guy. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! Yeah. Yo, this bowl is stuck, boys. Bro, we gotta do another fucking whisper screaming video. <laughs> Yo, I'd love so to do funny. one of those. Do you think there's another one we could think of that's like different Probably from those? Not. <laughs> it's such but confidence. Can make a nope. The first one will always be the best. Yeah. What about what if we did tiniest screen? <laughs> tiniest screen. It's like similar to whisper, but a little different. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> that shit was so fucking funny, though. Yeah, those are some of the funniest videos we've done, honestly. For real. I love that shit. It's just funny as fuck. I mean, it took us like half an hour to film the end fucking clip because I couldn't stop laughing. Oh, the one where we were like, facing each other? Like half an hour, I was just cracking up. This was funny. This, you want to chase her, brother? This or alcohol or is on corner? fire, also. I had a tequila. Yeah, do you guys need anything from inside? Ah, it's fucking hot as shit, bro. Sorry. I That's can grab so something. hot! Hmm? I can grab something first. Uh, I'll probably get a couple things. Oh, yeah, I'll be yeah, right back. Really good music. So the accordion bond? Yeah, he does. It's just fucking something else. They say wettest, wettest screams. The wettest screams. Just listen to fucking Frankie from a mirror. That's the wettest screams you'll ever hear in your life. Moistest. Okay, we'll do moistest. I haven't smoked yet. No, I have not. You thought I was on fire? Dude, that shit was hot as fuck. Get a Trader song? No. I haven't listened to Traders in a couple of years, to be honest. They're great, though. No shade. Love them. But I have not listened to them. Actually, the fucking Tyler, he talked shit on me way back in the day. But we squashed it and we're good now. Hey, uh, yo, Jay Rude. Your studio eyes are old. Old news is still possible. Your thoughts on that? Dance playing. Working your way up studio wise. Um, my studio is not much right now. I don't really record bands anymore. 
Um, I usually just hire people now to, to record for me. We think of we think of Bleed the Future. Don't really know him. Elden Ring never played it. You can uh, mix booze with weed because for me it's a big no-no. Uh, I do that uh, often. Yes. Uh, it doesn't bother me that much. No. It's not bad. Escape from Tarkov? No, I play Apex Legends. That's my game. That's my main game. How long have you been smoking for? Uh, off and on, smoking cigarettes for like 10 years. I need to quit. Weed, probably like 3 or 4 years. Uh, but uh, very rarely now. Very rarely. Yeah, Apex Legends, that's my shit. I love that game. It's got my 4K badge. 20 bomb. 20 bomb 4K badges. Let's go. Uh, Sorrow's Edge? Bro, yes. I've heard of that man. 100%. Uh, don't mix liquor and beer. Uh, because little bitches can't can't hang. Just play Daisy. I did play Daisy. I didn't really like it that much. It was a little too slow for me. Uh, Shadow of Intent album. I liked it. It's really good. You're really good. Did I play bass? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Apex is the shit, man. I love Apex. That's my game. I'm pretty good at it. It's the one game I'm really good at. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, sir. Uh, I play on PC. Oh, shit. Thanks, my guy. Of course. Dude! Let's go! Austin takes care of me more than any girlfriends I've ever had, ever have. I got you, bro. Boys support boys. Your album was fire. Thank you, man. I appreciate that, Austin. Thank you. Uh, do you work out? Yeah, I actually have a gym in my house. Here, I'm gonna go. Now. I have a bench press, a squat rack, a bunch of dumbbells. Uh, yeah, I work out. Uh, probably like three days a week. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna plug. I'm gonna grab. I have a mobile light. I'm gonna okay. Look, I'm gonna go plug this in. Do it. Austin's getting a mobile light. Uh, I mean, working your way up the ladder in a studio. Hold on. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna stop the music. Hold on. Uh, let me get to this real quick. Uh, working your way up the ladder in a studio, like from entry level engineer, uh, think it's still possible? Of course it is. Absolutely. The world needs more uh, really good audio engineers. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Hundred fucking percent. There are few and far between. Uh, did you actually go to the gym after uh, that drunk Google Live video? Uh, I don't. I'm not sure what we're talking about. Uh, I probably did. If I said I did, I probably did. Favorite game ever? Favorite video game ever? Oh, shit, dude. Um, probably either, like, Diablo or um, Hades is really sick. Apex, Smash Bros. Yeah, shit like that. Yeah, Smash Bros. I fuck with that shit. Oh, darn. Yeah. I got some cool news for you. Okay, tell me. Tell me the news. Um, inscription. Yes. Oh, so, uh, Casey's mod. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. fucking sick. Jeez. That's what I played oh, it the other thank night. God. Yeah, yeah, that shit was sick. Dude, crazy. Did, it, did you hear like the lore behind it of like? The, it was uh, someone like named Casey. Yeah. That made yeah. it, and then the the creator was like, "Hold on, this is kind of sick." Yeah. Like, let's work together. Dude, the game inscription is fucking sick. Yeah, I love that game. If you guys haven't played inscription, wow. What a cool ass game. And the new mod is insane. I turned off the music, sorry. Oh, no worries. I was just trying to read the comments. Oh, you're good. Yeah. Do you guys like the, you guys want the music off? Or I don't know if they can hear it that well, to be honest. I mean, it's up to them. Whatever you guys want. Yeah, let us know. Do you guys like how it is, or do you want the music to be on? Either way, we can we can do with or without. <clears throat> Thanks for the drinks, by the way. Of course, anytime. Appreciate it. Music off. Cool. Okay. That's fair. What's your best fart joke? Honestly, that uh, that family feud, that family feud video. 
that? It's like an edit video of that girl that just like slams the button and goes forward. I says don't it, like, think I've seen says that. Says it's super funny, and somebody edited it together with like Steve Harvey, like looking like he's losing his mind. <laughs> and they like echo it and play it in his mind. Forward, forward. It's like the top answer, and he's just like, "Oh man, what's going on?" Yeah. Dude, there was another uh, Family Feud one where this chick was just, I don't remember what the question was, but the chick was like, it was it was something like, what would you do if you were, like, like what could you do uh, with, like, five guys or something like, something like that? Mm-hmm. And she was like, I don't know, like, jerk them all off. <laughs> I was just like, what? Like, this Dude. is a fucking TV show. Like, what the fuck? You know what that reminds me of? Of, uh... Cause you know, obviously my last name is just like a setup for situations. Dicky. Yeah. yeah. Um, there was this one girl that I met her, and she found out my last name, and she like started cracking up, and she's like, "Oh my God, Dicky, like Dick in me," and I was like, "Isn't that like more insulting to you to say that?" Like, doesn't that? <laughs> I don't think that it's like a joke on me if you go, "What's up, Dick in me?" <laughs> like it sounds like you're saying it right. to you. <laughs> Yourself. And then she said, no, I didn't mean it like that. And I was like, what the fuck are you talking Well, how else could you possibly have meant it? Someone said, narcissistic scream video would be funny. What does that even mean? Narcissistic scream video? Um, Just like talking about yourself the whole time? Yeah, I don't I'm know. so fucking good, yeah! Yeah, I guess that's just uh, Attila, right? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, Attila. <laughs> Bro, Bruh. he has a fucking TikTok, and it's the cringiest shit I've ever seen. He also is the cringiest motherfucker on Twitter I've ever dude, seen. MGK's life. TikTok's pretty cringe, dude. He started doing that shit recently. I haven't seen him pop Well, up. yeah, for sure. But Franz, man, he's like the cringiest 36-year-old I've ever fucking seen in my life. <laughs> like, I don't fucking get it. Like, holy shit, bro. Like, grow up. Like, oh, but I have a Lambo. It's like, cool, I could have one too, but I have a fucking ton of money in my savings instead like i don't need a fucking lambo right to be like oh look at me i'm so successful oh, i got a lambo it's, it's like it's, yeah it's very jake, a lot of people are bro like, very jake up. paul of him to think that it's way it's incredibly jake paul of him but whatever as long as he's happy who cares dingus dongus in your case kind of sus MGK, bro. The thing is, is I know people who know MGK and who have hung out with him, and the stories. Yeah. They're fucking so cringe. Like, Mm -hmm. sure. Honestly, he he goes in perfect with what we were talking about earlier too. Of like, if you sacrifice morality, you can do anything. Oh, for sure. That's kind of like his thing is that he gave up what he cared about, which was rap, uh, to just like, oh, I could just soullessly create this pop music and relate to teenagers. I could just do emo that happened 20 years ago, but worse. Is that cool? You know what? I was talking to my friend about this. I was like, dude, when we grow, when we grew up, we had like legit fucking like, we had real if, if, no, the thing is, <laughs> if you're into emo, you had legit bands that actually just like wrote bangers, like say like My Chemical Romance or mm-hmm. like The Used or you had like the Killers or Breaking Benjamin, all these bands that just wrote bangers, and the kids that are like thinking like, oh, this is emo, is like bullshit fucking garbage, like MGK, mm-hmm. or like mm-hmm. fell in love with an emo girl. It's, it's yeah. just like, oh, let's take this formula that bands were successful with 20 years ago, and just like modernize and like fucking like mainstream the shit out of it honestly it's great it's like dude it's great uh meta commentary it's fucking garbage like there's no real anything there it's just like Mm -hmm. okay well like what's like a good thing to sing about like like an emo girl dude like yeah let's just like sing about emo girls because like yeah we'll get like a girl to sing on it and we'll just be like yeah fell in love with the emo girl because like yeah fuck yeah hell yeah emo girls like never you know the like, day like you know megan fox back in that movie like she was an emo girl and i fell in love with her so like yeah i fell in love with the emo girl let's like fucking do it and it's like the, it's I mean, fucking I garbage i don't even think it's that deep it's, it's fucking I, garbage i think it's the he probably was just like emo's big well right he now. said that he came out and said that. Well, because he's not gonna, I wrote he, this he, song about Megan Fox back in, in uh, Jennifer's Body. She wasn't even Whatever emo. the she fuck. Wasn't emo. She was literally a prep girl in that movie, so that doesn't even make sense. 
I, which to me means that he was just fabricating it from the beginning and just coming up with that so he doesn't have to admit that he was just playing the system of like he knows he you know, he knows what he's doing like he deliberately starts beef the with, fact with that he's also so that he can get more clout the fact he's also like 35 and he's making music for 12 year olds that's fucking kind of cringe like i get it you can make a lot of money and you can be really successful mm -hmm. i could never do that I, as as a 30 year old man i would never write a song that i was like what would 11 year olds really vibe with i should say this because kids are gonna love it yeah I mean, yeah dude that's, that's like, how you play the system man no if, if you don't that, get, if you no. don't give a shit you can absolutely just i don't think it lasts be 35 and you might you might be able to like make a lot of money and be <clears> successful <throat> for like five ten years but at the end it's like okay i'm glad that's over fuck that guy like how many times has that happened where someone will pop up and then they'll go away and they're just like fuck thank god mm -hmm. that he's gone like yeah. even though he like made a bunch of money it's like okay cool no one likes you except for right. nine-year-olds right he doesn't have Do you a, want a bunch of nine-year-olds to fucking like you is that your fucking like mission like he doesn't have the respect of his peers yeah exactly he's got like an army of children defending him right he have and then you look at people actual who actually are like like legit musicians like tim henson jason richardson fucking Tosin Abasi and you're like okay these people are fucking going to even if they don't write songs that get like a hundred million views on Spotify they will always be revered as fucking goats because they're just like doing what they love and they're fucking gifted like that means more than making a bunch of money to me mm -hmm. and just being like oh i'm gonna sell out to like 12 year olds that's cool right yeah, that's you. yeah I mean, and that's then just... like 10 years later people are like oh you you like you know what i mean like you run your course like fuck you like yeah, you were cringe dude, to begin you, with yeah you think he cares though <laughs> like, that's like if he gets his his money for five to ten years of fame and then invests that it doesn't matter what anybody thinks he did he stole the bag, you know? <laughs> like, he played the game and did his thing. I guess I guess not, but, like, what a fucking shit legacy. To, yeah, just, to just be like, oh, yeah, like, dude, I, I again, sold like, out and made a bunch of money. What does that even and, mean, like, though? Like, unfortunately, like, like we were talking about that on the, the most recent Dickie Dines episode about all these legendary artists writing songs about, like, being like, I love this relationship with the 14-year-old I have. Uh, so it's like they are prolific people but there's like the dirty part that people don't talk about so well they like, talk if, about if it you, they do talk about it but it's there's just more like people not... that are stoked about it than there are people that care that it happened yeah you know and you I... can just you can just like as a, a fucking adult who has an intelligence you can look at it and just see corporate this is gonna make money hey mgk do a song with bring me the horizon because they're popping, well, do, and it might be a shit song, but the fact that you guys do it together is going to make a shit ton of money, and we don't care if it's good or not. Mm -hmm. Who cares about yeah. the art? He, Let's just make a fuck ton of money. Like, it, it's funny that we brought up Franz earlier, too, because he is like the evolved version of Franz in a way, where it's like he is the business savvy, like he can manipulate the system with, while having no integrity you know like he's okay with being made fun of because he knows it will get him clicks and views. dude it's literally corporate music industry is using celebrities to make money and it's it has nothing to do with actually making any type of art dude, it's literally just like this will never, make never this will work. make money and you know, we'll pad our pockets that's the whole point of and labels. like it's gonna like it's just like anything that anyone posts on tiktok mm -hmm. in in a year no one it, you spend an hour on TikTok? Do you remember a single fucking video you watch? No, you don't. You see some fucking save them and then cringe have, chicks like 20 with their tits like, out. Think, uh, you see you see maybe a couple funny ones. A bunch of shit you oh, will dear. not remember. And it's just like, what are we doing? Like, this means nothing. This means nothing. I mean, that's just perspective, though. Like, to kids, it means everything, right? Now. It doesn't, though. Like, kids will forget but, but, this Well, that's shit. perspective. Like, to you, it means nothing. To them, it means everything. I don't think it does. I think to them it's mindless drivel that they're just like feeling. It's like drama alert. Yeah. Do you think kids are gonna like three years from now? Do you think they're gonna care about what the fuck David Dobrik did? Probably. Probably not. Do, because I they're do, living their own. Tries. No, because they're living their own life. Why does Onision have fans still? He, he has like 
500 fans. Dude, he has enough to live off of his Patreon. No, barely. He's still doing barely. it. Barely. He's still, he doesn't have a normal job. Like he's still Are you being, sure? I guess I can. Have you looked guy. into this? I mean, I, he uploads so much to the point that he yeah, still gets Yeah, he's getting like a thousand views a video. Mm-hmm. He's not making shit. Because he exploited the system and did cringe drama shit and like was a fucking asshole for like five years and sure he made money for those five years but now what's he gonna do he's fucking 35 years old and he's just gonna fade into the existence of the ether and no one's gonna fucking care and about that's another drama thing pops up because like nick akata's kind of in that mode too where it's like he fades off and then like something pops up drama and it like that's like his life it's like a roller coaster of peak moments of you know in- incredulity I don't know, man. There's just there's so not that much, it's good. Obviously, I'm not like advocating. So, like, I'm, just exactly. saying, I'm just saying. I, I think would rather can get away with it. Unfortunately, I would rather like be homeless and make no money, and then like write a song or an album that people were like, "Yo, this is fucking sick." Like this is actually what he was like. He lived this life. He made this record because it was true to him, and I respect that. And then like just whatever. It, instead of like being a fucking sellout like literally mgk's album is called mainstream sellout because he knows that he's a fucking sellout mm-hmm. like that shit is just so fucking like cringe to me but, like uh, i don't yeah. i mean I, I guess that does... if you want to make a bunch of money sure go right. ahead but like there is more so... there is more to life mm-hmm. than just making a fuck ton of money that's all i'm saying that's all but i'm saying some people I, yeah, unfortunately some people will only pursue that and i don't think it'll bring them happiness but i think that some people genuinely like will never be satiated in their like you know lust for greed <laughs> unfortunately like people like that like mgk will never be happy like he'll never be happy in his or his level of well he's probably happy now yeah, it's with his money because sure. he's, he's marrying he's megan fox and he's you know like, he's, like that type of you know personality quote unquote, successful you're but always it's gonna like, want to keep like one up in yourself like what's the next thing i can do I but before i like hit rock bottom and realize i'm cringe yeah and it's just like, and just knowing like the fucking shit people have talked about that I know who have hung out with him mm. and the fucked up shit he's done and said and just been like basically like, I just want to be fucking famous. Yeah, that's I just want to be crazy. fucking famous, that, that's dude. That's a crazy I just want to be story. fucking famous. It's like, it is first of all, mentality. being famous sucks. Any type of fame is not what you think it is. That shit fucking sucks. It really does. Like, that's not what you should want to be. Like, if your goal is to be famous, don't fucking do that shit. Because that shit fucking is not... That shit sucks. (laughs) Being famous is not it. Like, do shit you're passionate about, and do shit that you fucking vibe with, and you have fun doing. If people follow it and you make money, cool. But live a life that you're passionate about, and you can leave, like, a good fucking legacy of, like... You know what? Like, that's what it's about, man. Like, not just being like, oh, I'm going to make a bunch of money and it's going to be fucking sick and, like, who cares? Like, if people hate me, it's just like, that's not, that goes so fast. How many people have we known just in our lives who have done that shit and now they're, like, recovering alcoholics on heroin, died of overdoses because they're just like, oh, well, it was great for 10 years. But, like, I, I can't keep it up, like, you know, or, like, it's gone now, so I'm sad. I have yeah, nothing you, to live for, so I'm just going to kill myself. If you you do, know what I mean? If you neglect your mental, and if you uh, come into funds and, like, don't, you know, uh, intelligently, like, you know, take advantage of that, yeah, it can absolutely lead to just devastation later. <laughs> like, Lil, Lil Pump, great example. Uh, dude just, like... And Lil Xan? Have you heard about Lil Xan? Yeah, yeah. He's fucking broke as shit. Yeah, I, I was telling you about that last time we hung out. Of, like, that video like, that I was watching of, uh... Yeah, he's, like, in, a, like, thousands of dollars of debt and, like, owes so much money to, like, so many different people. Kind of crazy. And he was, like, at one point one of the biggest, art like, artists. Right. And it's, like, cool, you had three... You had three good years. Mm-hmm. Like, try and think about your life. Like, try and think about, like... Your community. Your life, mate. And that's the thing, too. Like, dude, anytime we have ever done anything content-wise, it's, like, it's involving (laughs) our local community. How many times have we had, like, 
Oh, I want to get this vocalist from our scene. I want to get this videographer from our scene. Bro, I, I want to get this guy from our scene. And I want to, like, build up the community, help out our community, and, like, build friendships and do shit with people like that. What up, no name? Like, that, I think that means more than yeah, just, absolutely. like, fuck all these people. I'm just going to make a fuck ton of money, and then 10 no, years I, later, I'll be broke and sad. It's, like, yeah. cool. To me, yeah, to, good I, I job, agree. I guess. I agree completely with you on that. It's, like, I think absolutely that's where you get the most, uh, endearing and uh, worthwhile moments and relationships is when you focus on like a core group of people that you care about and like a community that you can influence and like help because like the world's so big you're not going to fix everything right you're not going to change the world but the, like if you can have a reach you know and change and have an influence of that and like that can kind of be your solace of like i know i'm doing good and helping this small world and way you know, they're helping me in this way too like i don't need to bear the burden of the entire world and be like right because that isn't selfish mm -hmm. because you're doing what you can do as right. an individual you can and you can only do so world. much yeah, but when you get to the world. point where you're like oh i'm just gonna do whatever the fuck makes me money whatever mm -hmm. the fuck makes me happy right now that yeah. shit does not last no it does not fucking last and a lot of times it's like a reverse of like, oh, I really wanted money when I was young, so now I'm just gonna grub for it. And it's like, well, you're missing out on what was supposed to be purposeful in the first place. And know? it's like, of course you need money, but right. it's like, don't fuck over, and don't be an asshole, and don't, like, do stupid shit just to flex and act like you, like, oh, I have so much money now, like, oh, fucking, you know, like the little Xan thing that we were talking about, you know what I mean? Like, that shit mm -hmm. is just, like, why, like, actually be an artist. Actually make songs that you are, like, you lived this life, and so you're gonna make a song about this because you lived it, and that shit will last so much longer and actually like involve your community. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, oh, yeah. it starts yeah. small. Right. You That's know what why, I mean? Uh, like, dude, the band uh, Protest the Hero is one of those bands that will always have uh, income in like a support group and like a, a fan supporting them because of that type of thing since like the beginning they have been a band that fostered personal like relationships with their fans and made them feel like they were a part of this like right. you know, in-depth community right. and, like it sure. felt like a actual like friend group you know, to a point and so like they will have lifetime fans because of shit like that that sure. will always support them sure mm. that shit goes a long way and it's, it goes yeah, a it's really super, long way super gratifying and it's yeah, helpful like, it can be so gratifying to help other people, and that obviously helps them, too. Yeah, so it's exactly. Like, it, that, that means so win -win. much more, I think, than just being selfish and being like, I want to make a million dollars. Like, cool, well, that's going to run out. A million dollars ain't shit in 2022. Do you know that's going to go so fast. Do you Taylor Hawkins is? Taylor Hawkins? So they just said Taylor Hawkins is dead. I don't know who that is. I don't either. Rest in please. Rest in please. Rest in peace. Uh, Peanut wants to see your nipples. So that's something. My nipples? Uh -huh. I mean, they look like nipples. They don't look right. Anything fancy. Go figure, huh? Nothing fancy, I promise. Foo Fighters drummer. Oh, oh shit. That, <laughs> did you that see sucks. that uh, Foo Fighters 4 movie? I did not watch it yet. <laughs> you saw the trailer, though? I heard it bombed. Oh, really? I heard it did not do good Honestly, when it came out. You know what I could attribute some of that to? Uh, Dave Grohl promoting it. The way he talked about it, I I was like excited to see it when I saw trailers for it in theaters, and then I saw him talk about it, and he was like, "Yeah, it was just kind of like this stupid idea I had, and uh, it was just gonna be like a little sketch." And then the producers heard about it, and they're like, "And next thing you know, they're just like throwing up a million dollars." So he like undersold it. Uh, yeah, he made it sound like it was like a piece of shit. He was just like, uh, "Yeah, we wanted it to just be like a sketch," and they were like, "This should be a movie," and we're like, "Okay, I guess." So like. You know, I just kind of get possessed and then uh, just like kill the bandmates and like, that's fun. I was like, is that this the plot of the movie? Well, how, how did, do y'all know how Taylor Hawkins died? Is he dead? Who is that? The drummer of Foo Fighters, they're saying. Oh, whoa. Yeah. What happened there? That sucks. I mean, people die, man. I might die tomorrow, you never know. People, people die, People man. die, dude. Yeah. Like, Absolutely. Especially the more people you know, it's like I, I know I know like from. ten people who have died and committed suicide. Dude, when are we getting that deep dive video on uh, what happened to Ollie from fucking all the remains? 
Oh god. That I don't know like, if that's ever gonna come out. I feel like that needs a true crime podcast episode. Or it probably does, but I don't know enough about it to really talk it's about literally it. Literally every single musician that I've heard talk about that it's like like has that look of like there's something going on, bro. Yeah. Like what the Well fuck? they found him in like a pond. Yeah, in his backyard. In his backyard. Mm-hmm. And it was like, okay, well did he just like get incredibly drunk and fucked up and just like fell in in a pond or like what well, happened all the here? stories about is like you know but i mean you, you never life. know you never know like what could have happened you know like i don't know sheesh man quit dying guys okay. it was like a dude norm mcdonald fucking passed away this year man. He, know, he's I one of my that. favorite comedians i never got into him too much dude, but he was such a comedian i hated when i was younger i didn't dude get when robin it. williams died dude, that, yeah, that, that shit one. fucked me up that was crazy because that, that he was extra, like one of my heroes like, and the way he went too was like extra heartbreaking for real uh, dude. plus I mean, the images i don't know if you saw the images float around that was kind of fucked up that was That's fucked like, up kind of scarring, yeah basically. him chester <laughs> bennington uh chris cornell fucking there's so many people dude that have like died or committed suicide and it's like man i wish stop it i wish you just would yeah i just wish you wouldn't have done that you know what i mean but it's like you never know how, like where someone is in their life and like why they do the things that they do but it fucking sucks man yeah that one hit me hard though like robin williams when he when he committed suicide or committed suicide like it was committed suicide. that was that was hard for me personally Yo, fuck a suicide. All my Because I grew up watching suicide. him. And then, like, dude, Eddie Van Halen died on my birthday. Oh, yeah. That's he kind of literally crazy. died on my birthday. And he's, like, my number one ever inspiration for music. I don't know where the lighter is. Do you have a lighter? I do that one. Cringe. I put it down somewhere. Where is the lighter? The darkness has taken over chat but yeah oh <laughs> it's in my big old it's, booty pocket. yeah you have it i fucking have it when eddie I died on it. my birthday i was like okay what the fuck is this shit i was like what the fuck is this shit bro more like daddy am i right he like literally died on my birthday that's fucking insane and he's like like my dude like the one guy who got me into music who inspired me to do anything musically died on my birthday i was like what the fuck is this got a lighter Oops. You trying to take a shot in Eddie's honor or what? 100%. Oh, yeah, we got a $5 dono from uh, Daniel Fowler. What's up, baby? It says Taylor Hawkins just died. Look at Foo Fighters Instagram. Oh yep, got that one a little late, huh? <laughs> All right, well, <coughs> rest, rest in, in peace, peace Taylor. Taylor Hawkins. Rest in peace, Tay Tay. That's that's wild. <coughs> Man, yeah, all these dude, so many people from childhood are just passing. Well, we're getting to it's that life. age. Yeah, it's life though. <laughs> we're it's getting to that cool. age, bro. Like we're thirty, so anyone that we grew up listening to is in their fifties and sixties now. People die. That's crazy. <coughs> When they're 50s and 60s and 70s. <coughs> Unfortunately, that's just how it goes. This guy's okay when Norm McDonald died, man. Yeah. That dude was so funny. <coughs> and Bob Saget just like casually passed away. Dude, Bob Saget. That was wild. Did you see the... There was an article that was saying basically he suffered from head trauma. Oh, what, did he like pass out and hit his head or something? Or Maybe. I don't, uh, I don't know. But like same. his... <coughs> his family said don't release the death uh stuff you know like the the, the, like the reason why don't like don't release why he died oh so it's like okay what was he doing drugs did he get like beat the fuck up was he doing that jerk off challenge thing (coughs) choke yourself while jerking off dude i don't know but apparently he died of some kind of like oh well head trauma thing or whatever interesting so yeah uh, when do you think the rest of the remaining Spines of the Sworn members are going to get convicted with some of your shit? What do you mean? I'm talking about because CJ oh, was in Oh, the, the fucking one gal. Yeah, yeah he, was, he was in uh, Lorna Shore when that happened, though. That's unfair yeah. to Spines of the Sworn. Yeah. <laughs> that was after. What was that uh, one band? 
where they were super sick and the vocalist was this like 15 year old and then he got canceled because he was he did some fucked up shit oh are you talking about shrine of malice shrine of um, malice dude, that so I, yes i actually so this is a good time to bring this up i heard some shit recently i've tried so hard to look into it man but i've heard people saying that that uh that girl like recounted everything that she accused him of and said that she said him like and really yeah and so and like why would you do that to try to like deplatform him because they broke up she was like pissed off so she was an angry ex-girlfriend? That's what it said. I can't, it's so hard to find anything on it, but that's what I've been told, and I've tried, I've looked at Because there was, like, a video of him, like, right. being pretty he, like, fucking, yeah, like, 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 basically a sexually abusive. assaulting her while yeah. she was asleep. But, yeah, apparently in her, her statement is that she, like, did that on purpose, is what the, it's proclaimed. Yeah. So I don't know if maybe she just got hushed, or if she genuinely just, like, tried to ruin his career for no reason. Uh, but I, yeah, so that was one of those things where I, I was, like, corrected on that recently, and I, I've tried so hard to look into it, there's nothing online. Uh, it's, if you know where that is, let me know, please, because I would love to actually know the real situation on that. Yeah, because I heard he got fucking canceled for sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's, like, a, like, ended up being innocent or something. So, also, did you see, number one... Issues Ooh. is writing new music without Tyler Carter, okay, okay, okay. and they're doing it with Hiram. Oh, they're writing music with Hiram, bro. That's good. Okay. So it's gonna be fucking That'd be sick. sick. Did they know who's doing the vocals? Or I I have no idea. Damn. I'm fly I'm flying down there. Some on big like, shoes to fill. I'm flying down there on like Wednesday, uh -huh. like the thirtieth or something. I'm gonna spend like a week or two with him and just like work on shit, and I'll talk to him about it. But like. I was literally talking to a friend about that. I was like, dude, what is Issues up to? And, they're, and, you know, and they didn't know. And then he literally posted, Hiram was, like, writing new issues. And I was like, dude, let's go. Because, like, Ty, you know, and, and fucking Sky. Sky right. is such a sick fucking Ty, Sky. player. It's crazy. That's so cool. Interesting. I, yeah, I wonder who's going to fill those shoes. That's wild. Yeah, I have no idea. They, do they still have that uh, rhythm guitarist? Same guy? AJ? Yeah. I don't he I had think some, so. He had some sick vocals. I think so. He had some cool screams. He was good. Out. He was good. <clears throat> I don't know who all is in it, but yeah, Issues is writing new fucking music with Iron, and that's fucking sick. Yo. I love that. You live in Chesapeake? Yo, that honestly sounds like such a fun like city to tell people you're from. Chesapeake. I live in Chesapeake. <laughs> no, definitely not. Lush shit. What does that mean? Like a, f a fluffy what, poop. What did Tyler Carter do again? Uh, he was like flirting with like underage dudes. Yeah, trying to get the. And uh, that was the that was also confirmed by someone I won't name, but someone who is very much in the music scene and did stuff with him and was like, mm -hmm. "Hey, yeah," because I hit him up. I hit I hit I hit this guy up and I was like, Hey, did you hear about Tyler Carter? Like, and then he was like, Let me tell you about Tyler <laughs> Carter. When I was fifteen, uh -oh. this guy like was coming on to me and I was like, Oh shit. So like that's, Yikes. that's some, not, some Allison Jones shit. Yeah, that's not, 14. I did dude I don't okay. Here's the thing. There's like many things to this. One, I don't get that because first of all, there are so many horny like thirty year olds. Uh -huh. That will just fuck anything. Mm -hmm. So why are you going for that? Two, True. what the fuck are you going to talk about with someone half your age? Right. There is nothing. You're not going to relate yeah. to anything. Like, why it's are so you? Funny. We, we brought that up in the Well, the, obviously, the three, it's it, the, the reason, the fact that, like, it's not about that. It's about the sex or whatever. Mm -hmm. But it's like, What's the mentality dude, like, too, are you serious? You... There's so much good adult pussy out there that you're not... That you're gonna yeah. literally go for like what you like. I don't. I it's, don't it's, get it's it. I just don't get it. It's a mental it. problem. I just don't get like, it. I think a lot of it stems from abuse or like head trauma. You know, it's like they were sexually abused themselves, and so they, this is what they know. I guess. And, like, you know, the wires get crossed. I guess. Like, I dude, honestly, if you talk to furries, like I know this is a weird comparison, but like a lot of them talk about like they had like an awakening moment where they were like. They fucking were, their cat. You no, know, like their they're, hormones they're were coming kidding, out, and they watched kidding. some like you know some sensual character on like a cartoon and it kind of like it like crossed some wires in there okay well well, well 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 hear me out on this okay. people who like to get cut yeah. and watch like their significant other fuck someone else uh -huh. do you think those were kids that would sneak in and watch their parents 
parents fuck and be like, oh, I shouldn't be mm. doing this, but this is like interesting. I don't know. Maybe, maybe some. And then I, it I just gets stuck in their head where it's yeah. like, I just want to watch. Mm. I feel like a lot of that derives from like shame, you know, like deriving uh, comfort and shame, you know, like, like, like abusive parents or like condescending. So like that could be a part of that, of that weird... You hear like a lot of that. I'm like, not weird. saying it is. I know, dude. We're just asking I'm questions. just asking we, questions. We don't have doctorates, bro. Literally like, asking. Is, none of like, this is fucking us being. But like, I've hmm, thought this about this, or I was just like, I don't know. Like maybe if you watch your parents fuck all the time. <laughs> Dickie Dines persona coming soon. What <laughs> <laughs> uh, what what they say? Five dollar dono. Uh, Norse mod uh, co says Chuck Norris destroyed the periodic table because the only element Chuck Norris recognizes is the element. Of surprise, yeah. Like, well, punches Bruce, you in face. Bruce Lee killed Chuck Norris, so yeah, he ripped it doesn't out, even matter. He ripped out his chest hair and went like, Whoop. Yeah, that's pretty disrespectful. Yeah, that's like taunting before killing. Him. He like killed him in Return of the he Dragon. Killed. Yeah, he, he did. like he, he did. did. He, he did. He like s like jumped on his chest and like <laughs> snapped his sternum. And then deleted scenes where he, he pulled out a gun and murdered. Yeah, executes Chuck Norris. Yeah, no, he he like legit like <laughs> fucked him up in Return of the Dragon. <laughs> So fuck Chuck Norris. Bruce Lee's a shit. Yeah, what about Cuck Norris? Cuck Norris? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, actually, I'll, I'll, <laughs> oh, I'll right. say this. I'll okay, say this. Okay. I think Jackie Chan uh -huh. is more of a badass than Bruce Lee because yeah, of course. Jackie Chan... Uncontested. Did you know Jackie Chan used to fill in for Bruce Lee's stunt double? He, I did. Jackie that's Chan not, was... That doesn't even surprise me. Jackie too. Chan was Bruce Lee's stunt double. For a while. That's so funny. And they would like hang out and shit. Bro, Jackie Chan's like, like 70 and still doing Kung Fu. And he's stuff. still, like, he's crazy. He's always done his own stunts. Yeah. Like that is like a badass Bro, have, motherfucker. Have you seen that video? He like of... broke his fucking arm mm -hmm. because he did a stunt that he fell from like a tree. Right. In like a movie, like Who Am I, I think it was called. That's right. And he fell from a tree and broke his arm and had to go to the hospital for like they, uh, months. They actually called it that movie because that was the first thing he said when he woke up. Really? No, I'm just making that up. Well, I was going to say, you fucker. He said, Who Am I? I was like, I fell from a tree so hard. Who am I know I? that he <laughs> fell from a tree. Or it was like First Strike or Who Am I or, or one of those movies, but. That's a more of a badass to me. Yeah, Bruce oh, yeah. Lee was fast and he was no, good. Jackie Chan's But, like, awesome. Jackie Chan was fearless. Yeah, bro. honestly, that's going to be a... That like guy a, threw like, his body into any situation. It was just like, mm -hmm. fuck it. Like, let's see what I'll happens. Probably, I'll probably ugly cry when Jackie Chan passes. Like, that'll be ugly. He's getting there. Yeah, he's old. He's getting there. Oh, well, dude, he... Uh, I, I'll, I'll give him, like, 15 years. I think he's in that dope new A24 movie that everything all at once, all of the time. Have you heard of that one? No. It looks really fucking interesting such a like wild premise but uh, i think he's in that movie and he's still fucking dude up. jackie chan's a fucking bad he's a badass oh, dude one of the, the stuff like, have you seen the dude. one where he jumps through he's like on top of a bus and he's supposed to jump through a fake window and he jumps through the real one on accident and no. it, like fucks him up <laughs> like, dude, dude but shit like like bro you're a fucking badass <laughs> if you're willing to do that shit yeah jackie chan's metal as fuck dude he's fucking Definitely. hard that motherfucker is a hard ass motherfucker. Mike like, said he's a communist bitch, which is pretty funny. I don't give a fuck about his political views. <laughs> That's just a funny sentence. Like, like, Jackie Chan is I a don't, communist. I don't care about anyone's political views. The fact that he's still willing to do that regardless of what he believes in, dude, that's fucking hard. Yeah, Chan, that's, is, Chan, that's hard. Chan is actually short for communism. Is it Chan? Is it? No. I didn't know that. Dude with the talents. Oh, dude, do you ever watch that show? Mm. Your parents probably didn't let you, honestly, because it had demons in it. Um, but uh, Jackie Chan had an animated like cartoon where like there was these talismans that each had like a zodiac on them and it was represented by a demon so like jackie chan had to fight the demon and then i never the saw that dude it was really cool it was tight as fuck and the the old grandpa would always go yeah jackie mm. uh it was super fucking tight but uh, that, that. yeah people were referencing that in here that was a, that's an old school that was on like wb like warner Holy brothers shit. like cartoons type shit Old fuck it. Like I would watch that when my mom was like on a drug a drug binder and I'd have to stay at my grandma's. Like she yeah. like that channel, you know, you don't quite have those at home. <laughs> You're like, Oh, here's the rich people channels, let's right. go. This is the grandma channel. <laughs> the grandma where's that fucking antique road show twenty four hour? <laughs> Jackie <laughs> Mub G Bean Sand what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> Hiya, Jackie. Oh my god, Superhero Static Shock. Yeah, that was around the same time, too. <coughs> I forgot about that show. I do not remember any of that. I think it was on the same channel, too. The same Jackie network. Chan Adventures. Yeah, that's, that what it was yeah that's what it was called. 
Let's go. That shit was tight. Rest in peace, Taylor Hawkins. That sucks. Yeah, rest in peace, Taylor. Rest Tay -Tay. in peace, that man. Y'all should kiss. Y'all should Hopefully his suck. spirit will dwell amongst the nature around him and he'll blossom and inspire people who are around those trees. This blicky is dedicated <clears throat> to him. Yo, Mucha Lucha! Oh my god. <coughs> Bro, nobody knows that show. I love you for that. <coughs> I remember that shit. You remember me? You so much? I remember that shit. No way. Yeah. That's awesome. I don't remember, like, too much from Okay, it, but, but you at least remember the, the flea, right? Yeah, the flea. The flea! Yeah. Do you remember, um... <laughs> do you remember, uh, the fucking... What was this? Uh, what was the fucking thing? It was, uh... Oh, two angry people. His, his, like... Okay, chat. Do you know what I'm talking about here? His catchphrase, I don't remember the name of the show, but his catchphrase would literally be like, a spoon! And he'd be like, a spoon! And he'd be holding, like, a spoon. But it was, like, this, like, superhero, and he had, it was, like, a blue suit, and he, like, had, like, antennas. It was, like, uh... Um, the chat's got it, The Tick? Dude, The Tick! The yes! Tick? The okay, Tick! Yeah, I do remember The Tick. Dude, 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 The had, like, Tick! Dude, he had, like, movies and stuff. Bro, yeah, yeah. That shit, I used to he, watch that religiously when I was, like, eight years old. That's so that funny. was my shit when I was a kid. It's crazy that things like that, like, like the who would guess the Tick would have like its own franchise? The funny thing is, I don't even know why he would have the spoon thing, mm -hmm. but I just remember in my memory, it's just like spoon. Uh, that's a pretty good guy thing. Like, I'll defeat you with a utensil because <laughs> I don't want to kill you. <laughs> I don't remember why he used to say it, but I just remember, <laughs> dude, the Tick. Yo, Viva Pinata. What a throwback. There Bro, is no or spoon. fucking. Uh, I'm trying to think about. What up, things. Danny? Courage, Courage was my shit. shit. Courage the Cowardly Dog, bro. That was my fucking shit. Dude, Courage the Cowardly Dog is some of like the early shit where you're like, is, I I watched is there, that. Is life sad? I, <laughs> yeah, I watched a little Johnny Bravo. I watched a little. Um, uh, what else? You ever watch those horrible cartoons on the same network of the like, like you know. Uh, Cow and Chicken. And oh, stuff. I love Cow and Chicken. That was the best they were, garbage. They bro. were so bad. <laughs> Big Brother. Dude, that shit was so bad. Bro, the, the, but it was good. The amount of just like, hey, this is funny because it's a wing. It's yeah. like a hot dog. That's kind of funny, huh? Right, exactly. The devil walking on his booty. Dude, mm -hmm. Cow and Chicken cow was and like chicken. not appropriate for children. Absolutely not. Like, like the normal show. Yeah. That's also not appropriate oh. for children. No, <laughs> you know what I mean? Sure. Like, but it passed. Like, yeah. uh, it did its thing. Not a bot said, Courage fucked all my dreams up. Yeah, I was, dude, Courage dude, was the shit. Dude, I... I whenever that oh. show came on, anything so else I was... Dude, literally, I didn't care what was on TV, what my mom was telling me to do. If Courage was on, I was fucking watching Courage. Dude, that was, that top was my top fucking tier shit. For dude, so the, uh, long. Dude, the water episode? With, I'm going to go home, home tonight and watch Courage, and watch Courage oh, because man. of this. Yeah. Guaranteed. The, the episode where the, you know, like the puddles lead to like another dimension. Yeah. And like that woman's like enticing me. Mm -hmm. Bro, that episode fucking freaked me out for so long from like being in the water. Dude, the fucking, even the one that's like, return the slug. Oh, yeah, that was a classic. Like that shit was scary, You man. pulling out for Tay Tay? Got you, bro. Taylor yeah, Hawkins, rest in peace, brother. For the boy, rest in peace. Rest in peace, brother. May you fight some foos in the afterlife. But what a good life. Oh, though, dude, Kurt, the what Kurt, a good the life. The crossover. Watch where you're going, you fool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Watch where they're going, fool. Watch where you're going, you fool fighter. Yeah. You know, I. <clears throat> here's the thing with me. <clears throat> is that, like, I've seen so many of my idols die, mm -hmm. and I have known so many friends who have died. That at this point, when I hear about deaths, mm -hmm. I'm like, you know what? Fuck yeah, good life, bro. Mm -hmm. GG. Like, I, instead of getting sad, it's like, dude, you fucking were the man, man. Like, right, you yeah. were in one of the biggest rock bands in the fucking world. Bro. Yeah, look at the positivity. Like, exactly, or like, you know. Because the inevitability is everyone will Everyone dies. So that's look the, at that's the, the weird thing. Left. Dude, that's the weird thing, is that like, it's the one concept thing other than taxes that will be in life is mm -hmm. death and it's the one thing we cannot mm -hmm. handle and traps being gay like that's number three traps being gay. that's number three 
God. Taxes, death, and traps being gay are the three. No, don't even. Wanted. Yeah. <laughs> traps is. Yeah, whatever. Fuck traps. They were. They got new platforms the from everything. <laughs> I was talking about traps, dude. Traps. Yeah. Like thirst traps? No, like. Uh, I like thirst traps. You know, Chad knows what I'm talking about. Thirst traps are nice. So can you cut, More thirst traps. Caught in the with world. your pants down in the red district? Oh, like. Like you're getting trapped. No, like, like a, no, like, so like a, in a steam. So a trap. A, a <laughs> what are you talking a, about? A trap is a, a like a, a a trans boy. No, trans woman. I have no idea what you're talking about. It's a trans woman in like Thailand. So you think you're getting like a girl, and then it's like, oh, she's got a penis. That's like what that's what that means. Oh, I've. I've I don't know that. <laughs> All I know is like the thirst, like thirst traps. That's so funny. That's the only thing I'm aware. Of. No, no, tra <laughs> uh, traps are. Tra I'm sorry, I'm not versed no, on the, uh, no, yeah, the Thailandish. Um, it's not specifically Thailand. I think it, like <laughs> I think it's Indian. Like like, like no dudes that dress up in an, as anime that. girls, and you're like, oh, like that's a cute anime girl, and she, he's like, what's up? And you're like, oh, like oh, it's a thirst trap. That's like a a trap. Okay. I've never heard that. <laughs> it's a lady boy. I've it? never That's, heard that. I don't. Yeah, I'm trying. How do you address this without being offensive in the modern day? I'm trying so hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't even know what you're talking about. All I know is um, trap is a slur post, for trans like, women. That's a better way. Ass. That's a better way to put it, honestly. Oh. It wait, used to, it used to be less say, aggressive. The, the trap is like a slur for trans women, essentially now. It initially was like a. I don't. Like I've a never. Meme. I've it was like never a Reddit heard meme, that. Essentially, before where like dudes at Comic Con would like walk up to like a cute girl, and then it would be like a guy, and so it kind of created this thing of dude. It, even in anime, they do that now, where there's like a. It's like clearly a girl character, but it's like oh, there's a dude that just dresses like that. So hmm. there's like this this ambiguous crossover of like where it created that term more commonly in like anime and stuff, but I think now it's probably considered a hate term. I, would I have never heard of that. 4chan, enough said. Gabe's gets it. Yeah. 4chan. <laughs> 4chan, enough said. <laughs> nice. Transphobia question mark? Is this, are we canceling? Uh, hand over the Cancel button? Cancel the Dicky Dice is this, show. Is this cancelable offense? Because we're asking questions. Oh shit, dude, it's evolving. There's like four different definitions, bro. People oh, are saying, no. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna leave that one alone. Let's talk about something else, because... I'm not getting into this the restroom one more time. That perfect. I will be right back. All right, now we can talk about. Hey, don't you talk rights. shit about me? <laughs> We're talking about trans rights. <laughs> no, I had like this. Go, go team, go. Oh jeez. All right, so what's up, chat? How are we living? How are you doing? Thanks so much for hanging out with us tonight. We appreciate you guys doing this. We haven't done a, a Dicky Dine stream with myself and Darby. Uh, in a very fucking long time. It has been years since we've done a straight up Dickie Dines live stream. So this is incredible for y'all to be here with us. Uh, y'all are awesome. We appreciate you. Um, ooh, let's talk about the new video. Did you guys watch the most recent Dickie Dines video? The, the fucking worst lyrics ever in all of music history? <laughs> Love you, nice to be here. You guys are awesome. Arturo, appreciate you. Yeah, you guys seen that new, uh, oh, what's that new Pixar movie? The fucking one with Bruno in it. S S some. You guys seen that yet? We don't talk about Bruno, no, no, no. For Taylor Hawkins, yeah, we were we poured one out for him earlier. I accidentally closed my fucking fingers in a door, and I can't play guitar. Yo, monkey, that sucks, and I'm sorry to hear that. You want to hear a crazy story? When I was uh, younger. I went to a, uh, a ranch steakhouse. It was literally called Ranch Steakhouse. And there was a girl that was like being stubborn and wouldn't get in the van. <laughs> that sounds funny. But uh, it was her parents, you know, they were trying to get her in the van. Like, come on, we gotta go. And she was like throwing a fit. And uh, <clears throat> so the dad, like in a huff, to, like slammed the, you know, it was a sliding van door, the back door. So it was a slider. He slammed, he like slid the door. And uh, she like threw her hands in the way and her fucking hands like her fingers got like mutilated while they were in the door it, it was not like a oh she got pinched and it hurt her hands were like bleeding and there was like tearing and her fingers were like misshapen and she was like couldn't get them out of the door for a while like they had to open the door and then she pulled out her fingers and they were like all fucked up and bloody like horrible you want to eat that 
Oh, yes, please. You did that one, no go. I sure did. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it was a, a pretty brutal memory I have of, like, looking over at the van and seeing the girl with, like, bloodied fucking fingers. It was pretty gnarly, honestly. Her fingers must have got, like, chopped. They were pretty, they were, they were fucked up. Big F, for sure. Do you watch UFC? Dude, I used to be obsessed with UFC. I used to love UFC. I used to take uh, kickboxing and jujitsu classes and stuff and a little bit of judo. I used to love UFC when I was in high school. Uh, sometimes I just like, I keep up on like fighters, but I'm not as into it as I used to be. I used to really love it though. God. Needs more cowboys. Couldn't agree more. Oh, what's up, G? The bro hug. Let's go. Low looking kind of drippy. Yeah, they... Oh, no. <laughs> the bro How hug funny, got like, him wild. How funny is it? Is it right when I said drippy? I dripped. <laughs> Drip that's, all over. That's, that's that one goes out. Imitating the, art. It's for the as they fighter. say. It's for the Foo Fighter guy. Oh okay. I was just pouring one out for the homie. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Oh, man, dude. You ever get vodka in your sock? <laughs> You'll have something to drink later. That's, that's for the, sure. That's a new one. I got vodka in my sock. Oh, goodness. I got vodka sock. It's been fun, man. Yeah, dude, thanks for coming over, dude. Of this course. is a blast. We absolutely got to do at least one of these a month. This is... I'm thinking at least one a month. Maybe, like, yeah. once every, like, couple weeks. I don't know. Yeah, once we get in the groove Something of it. Something like that, that'd yeah. be fun. It'd be really cool. We can just smoke weed and... Take some shots. Talk about random shit and potentially yeah. get canceled, you know? <laughs> no, so. see, that's this thing. Is, you, know, <laughs> you can tell that our hearts are in the right spot. <laughs> We gotta burn the rest of this wood. Let's go. There's like one more piece. Oh no, there is only one more piece. Why did they change McCree's name in Overwatch? It was because the guy that it was named after in Blizzard got fired for sexual misconduct. And so Blizzard got, dude. They got have you. Have you seen all this shit oh, yeah. about Blizzard? Yeah, Blizzard got fucked. Bro. They, they had so many bad. Whoever's bugs. running that company needs to step it the fuck up. Like, yeah. it's but they just got bought out by Microsoft. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so, the Overwatch, yeah, they, honestly, it's been a I don't know better. if that's going to delay the, Diablo 4 or make it faster. Probably make it faster. Whichever they, one it is, I really want uh, Diablo 4. The Overwatch 2 beta just got announced. So, like, that's been something that's been such a, you know, meme of, like, it's never going to come out type of thing. Yeah. But the new management has at least gotten that far. So right, right. Maybe it'll be for the better. What's your favorite snack cake? Ooh, Austin's asshole, dude. Uh, That's 100%, a snack. Hundred percent, yeah. I mean, like a zebra cake or like a oh. like a like a ding dong or a ho ho or a Twinkie or a okay. like a like the uh, they have those strawberry um what are those called Debbie, the little Debbie strawberry cakes. You know what I mean? I think mm. those are probably uh, mm, mm. Mm. okay. Can I say anything? Red velvet. I love red velvet. Dude, that's a fucked up. Dude red velvet I is love red velvet. so like like a really nice, well prepared red velvet is like exquisite. Mm -hmm. I like a hundred percent exquisite. You ever had like, medium rare velvet? <laughs> <laughs> no straight up I rub I fucking love red velvet. Alright, should I hit this fucking dildo bong one time for the one time? Yeah, brother. I haven't hit it yet. Let me so. read up. Load her up and I'll do one. Okay, but y'all, yeah, if y'all are one straight of to the age brain. and you're smoking, let's like smoke with me. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, yo, also, chat. I got a fun thing that uh, me and the boys were talking about recently. Uh, have you? Did you know that some people, when they maybe even you, uh, have had cilantro? Yeah. And it, it, does it taste like soap to you or? Is it a little soapy? Yeah, it's a little soapy. Yeah, but so but that, I fucking love it. So that's, yeah, that's actually like a, like a, just like a thing. Some people, like, you know, half the population or something, when they eat cilantro specifically, it has like a soapy quality to uh -huh. it. Uh, so, you know, parsley is usually like a really good substitute for that. Yeah. Because of that, because it okay. doesn't do that to you. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I love it. I don't a, know. My mom also used to. Like so, uh, yeah, I used to. Yeah, my, my mom also used to put soap in my mouth when I was a bad boy, and I, you know, I got a little hard sometimes. <laughs> and I was just like, like hey, you like it degrade me, bitch. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Come on, mommy. <laughs> just kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> Mrs. Dimes, is this the expensive soap? I love cilantro, bro. But yes, it go, does go, have a, bongy, bongy. I think it does have a slightly soapy texture. Is it? Oh, I okay. it yeah. You got that green, baby. All right, let's go. All right, so because it's longer, it's gonna create like a lot more smoke. So we get ready of that. Yes, sir. I have never. Straight to the brain, Jared Dines edition, boys. I have never put something this large up. up to my mouth before. Bong up, bong that's out. That's on God. 
so that's this, this uh, one's to honor. If you can't come in or come on. Chug, chug, chug. <laughs> chug the milk. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. <coughs> Bro, the ducks are gonna start laughing. Chill. <coughs> <coughs> nice. <coughs> that fucking. Woo! <coughs> Jesus Christ. Cheers, boys. I'm about to go lay in that pond with them right now. I'm so high. Pickles! Madagascar, whatever your name is, Hammond. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. That thing's fucking crazy, dude. <coughs> it's the Go Go Gadget Extendo Bomb. <coughs> Coming to you. Yeah, I'm coughing. In a bitch. store near you. Oh, no. <laughs> Holy shit. Darkness. They're imprisoning me. All that I see. Oh, yeah, speaking of place. darkness, have you guys uh, ever seen 30 Days a Night? <coughs> Y'all should kiss? No, fuck you. I was recently thinking about how there's like a, <coughs> an actor in that movie that I really fucking like. Mm. That I like never remember the name of. He's the dude that plays the, the drifter in that movie. That like, <coughs> I told you I want to Sit over here. I want to the switch. Dessert. I want to read some. Uh, Y'all gonna be on for a bit? Uh, I'm probably gonna be head out in like half an hour, 45 minutes or something. Jared toe picks. I already posted a picture, and everyone's like, "Oh, look at those talons! Cut your fucking toenails, bro." Hey, bro. Honestly, regardless of what your feet looked like, they were gonna say. <coughs> exactly. That's just the internet. Uh -huh. <laughs> Y'all have any spooky stories? I mean, I guess maybe a little bit. I have yeah. stories that were spooky when I was younger, and as I've become an adult, I realized I was just probably a kid that was scary. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Shine says, Matt, yo, Serial Killer, thanks so much, appreciate you, bro. Thank His you. name is Serial Killer. Serial Killer, for you so much, appreciate you. <laughs> yo, One more toke? Uh, Fuck you, bro. Yeah, I'll toke up. <clears throat> yeah, we have heard that Taylor Hawkins, uh, passed away, unfortunately. Uh, apparently, we don't know. Just, uh, hearing it in chat. Actually, a Unfortunately, host. that, that sucks, if that's the case. Rest in peace. How can he be dead if I haven't seen his movie yet? Also, what a fucking great life, man. Like... You fucking were the drummer of, like, one of the best rock bands in the world. Like, you yeah. had a good life, my guy. Like, whatever yeah. caused it, I, you know, that fucking sucks. But let's celebrate it instead of getting sad. You know what I mean? Dude, plus, <clears throat> fighting foos is on my bucket list. And I have a <gasps> list, so. Yeah, exactly. Um, Yo, join up, chat. Rip it with me, boys. Yeah, rest in peace to him. Yeah. Rip but, a Yeah, we, 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 we know. We, we, we've seen. Um. Unfortunately, you know, that that's life, you know, people die that sucks, but let's celebrate his fucking life and listen to some Foo Fighters and You know, but he had a great fucking life. He had a great fucking life. I'm sure so, Let's celebrate it instead of getting sad, you know what I mean? Austin's got a cool ass shirt, bro. I agree uh, I feel like uh, Jared would eat baked beans straight out of the can for a death pro music video like Infant Annihilator Bro, no. Honestly, that's the worst part about Infinite Annihilator. later. No, definitely not. <laughs> it's a freaking video. Definitely not. I don't remember the last time I had a can of baked beans. The I don't, last time I literally don't. I ate like up I really some don't. <clears throat> Dude, yeah. I'll I missed a joke. Oh no. Fuck, I missed a joke. Well, how could you? Uh, There's only a thousand comments. Shelton, Washington. That's like an hour and a half away. <laughs> two hours away from us. Shelton? Shelton. That's like yeah, that's like, that's like over towards like Aberdeen, and then you have to like go another... Aberdeen, bro. Get out, get the fuck out of that area. That place, that place fucking sucks. Come, come up, come up north. Dude. Make damn sure full cover, dude. We have to dude, finish so that down. fucking if song. For, if you're up for that, I'm absolutely into that. The little snippet we did was so fucking good. It's iconic, bro. The only thing I'm worried about is if we do the full thing, uh -huh. and people are like, oh, the snippet was the best part. What if we do a minute? Yeah, what if we... In a medley. That's no, they like, want the full song. That's crazy. Like <laughs> metal version though. Yeah, I guess that's fair. I don't know. Well, maybe. Yeah. I am zooted, yes. I that this that like you I said, really, I have never put something called you earlier. I have that never was crazy. Dude, that was really that funny. That was so wild. I was saying I never put something uh that big uh, up to my mouth before up and I me meant lips. it. Um up to me ellipsis. Yeah, I'm a little I'm a little I'm gonna need my friend to come pick me up. Oh Brock um, O'Neill. 
Bronco if you could pick one game. microphone to record everything, what would it be? Uh, you know, that's not practical. If you're actually going to be like an audio engineer, you're going you're gonna to have many different microphones. Um, and you have to. That's just how it is, unfortunately. You can't use a fucking kick drum mic to record vocals. Mm -hmm. It's just not, it's not going to work. Yeah. I mean, unless you're like a god at fucking using uh, 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 plugins to make yeah. it sound like completely yeah. different, you know, mm -hmm. like it's... If you're asking for mic recommendations, you just use the Shure SM7B. Sure, for vocals. Just, yeah, yeah, for vocals. For vocals. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's good. Absolutely. Um, that's Especially funny. if you're doing screams. There's, um... There's better mics for cleans, but, like, the screams, I feel like it's just, like, out the box. Yeah. Like, this kind of sounds nice already. I feel, no, SM7B, really good for screams, 100%. Um, I'm a little spoiled because I use a Manly, and that's the one that they sent to the Manly. house. What's Remember that? Manly? The Manly, the, the tube, the the tube microphone. It's oh, like, oh, yeah, yeah. It's, like, okay, six yeah. grand. Yeah. That's right. But, like, they sent it, mm -hmm. but we had to do a video with it. Right. And so we made, like, the, um, I think it was lead guitar versus lead vocals. And we had to oh, do yeah, a yeah. video okay, yeah, using the mic my, uh, and to right. make them happy yeah. for the that's, fact that they sent funny. it. But, like, dude, that dude, mic I I went back and for vocals, holy fuck, mm -hmm. it's good. I went back and rewatched that. Holy shit. Uh, the X5 video. Yeah. Recently. That's, that's Some of them are actually pretty, pretty funny. funny. Yeah, that was a fun Yeah, video. when fun we sketch. actually put like effort into it, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's pretty oh, good. Oh, doi oi <clears throat> Oh, doi oi oi. Um, love to hear cover of Make Damn Sure. We need to do that for sure. That What's bad. the highest you've ever been? Well, um, oh I. Oh, God. Dude, probably anytime we hang out with Kyle. <laughs> yeah. No, probably the edibles, actually. That's, that's, Edi that's dude, a different type of high. I. I. Fucked up high. I almost went to the ER one time because I Dude, was they do, so Dude, isn't high. that the worst? And like it was because of edibles, edibles specifically. Too much. Too much. Just edibles Sometimes. specifically. I have never been that high smoking where I have ever felt I don't think you can scared. get that high smoking. You can, I think. If, if I were to sit here and just do this, yeah, I probably would get there. I don't think you can. But like but reasonably, you're not going to. Yeah, you'd have to be but like... But edibles, a, like I've, I've had like, like that night, that fucking um, Jonathan brought over those Rice Krispie Treats that he made himself. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And mm -hmm. I ate three Rice Krispie oh Treats. My God. Probably so it was good. probably like three, 400 milligrams. Because I asked him, I was like, how much did you put in that shit? And he was like, I just dumped probably, vials might, might even be more than that. in that shit. <laughs> oh my God. And I had three, like three of them. And they were like fucking right. pretty big. And I woke up at like 3 a.m., and I was yeah. talking to Jesus. I swear to God. I repent all my Bro, sins. literally, I was looking at my ceiling and I just saw constellations <laughs> and stars. And like, if I slightly, like if I moved my head a quarter inch, the whole room went. Vroom. Help me God. Like I was so high <laughs> and I almost called the ER. Like I almost called an ambulance. That's hilarious. Cause I was just like, like dude, yeah, I didn't think I'm too stupid. exactly. Like that's the most high, but like it was Ed edibles, edibles for sure. And I've never been like that ever since, but yeah, be careful with edibles hundred um, percent. Yeah, no, I was taught, I was literally, I, I was so high that I forgot what my name was. <laughs> Shaking. I was literally in bed next to a girl because, like, I had this girl staying over. It was me wearing a wig. It was him wearing a wig. And I was, like, wait, I was just laying there, and she would, like, put her hand on my chest, and I was, like, convulsing. Oh I was, God. like, shaking, and she was, like, are you good? And like, nope. I was, like, I don't, I don't think so <laughs> and I, I what i told her i was like hey if i start convulsing like 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 seizing like really bad and like uh if you oh like if i if you try to wake me and i won't wake up or mm -hmm. like if i start being just any type of weird call the ambulance because i was like freak dude i, I probably right but now. i probably had like three to four hundred milligrams of edibles at once mm -hmm. and then went to bed and then woke up three hours later just fucking like i don't know my name i'm asking jesus for forgiveness and i have no idea who's laying next to me even though i should because i don't <laughs> even know my name you know it's a fucking terror dude that was awful you wake up brain dead. that was awful <laughs> Dude, it and it, and I was awake from like 3 a.m. until 9 a.m. <laughs> and then I fell asleep at 9 a.m. 
I was awake God. for six hours in this because because I was so scared it and anxious I couldn't good. sleep because I was so high on edibles. Jesus was reaching but, out to you. He said, "My son, dude, it's, so, it's okay, my son." Literally, like I couldn't remember my fucking name. I was <laughs> so baked, dude. It was like I I I couldn't even formulate a thought. That was wild. the problem. I was dude, it was just crazy, like. Man. So that was right insane. Now? Don't. What are you sad, Tony? Be careful with edibles. You take 400 milligrams of edibles. What's up? I'm so. Wait, what do you say? Tony said he's so sad right now. He's so sad right now. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe because he thinks I'm a good boy and I've never done weed, but I've done it. I've done weed. Oh, not the legal state of weed. Uh, what's up, Austin? It's Metal Inject from Twitch. Oh, what's up, G? What's up, dude? How you living? Um, had to be over a thousand. <laughs> I don't know. I assumed three to four hundred. Dude, honestly, whatever. Somebody, but I, I somebody literally can't, like makes their own edibles. Whatever number they tell you, you add like a bunch to it. <laughs> well, the thing is, is I, I, I went over to his house one time. Mm -hmm. Okay, and he had these vials, and they were, uh, they were five hundred milligrams each. It was these vials. And he would just like tincture it, you know, like mm -hmm. put it under his tongue, right. and it'd be like a hundred, like a like two <clears throat> drops would, or three drops would be like a hundred milligrams or fifty milligrams mm -hmm. would be enough. You know what I mean? And he said he put two of them in there. Jeez. So it was it was probably a thousand for the entire thing. I only yeah, had yeah. like you get high all day. I only had like three. So it was probably like three to four hundred, but I don't know. But I was fucking gazon. I was gone. I was like for six hours I I thought I was like I think I'm Do you that. know when you're you when you're like you're so just like dissociated? Oh yeah. That you're just mm -hmm. like I have to call the ambulance, and then nine seconds later, you're like, stars, uh, whoa, constellations. And then six seconds later, you're like, oh, fuck, dude, I did this one thing one time, I'm really sorry about it, thank, like, please forgive me, God. And then, like, six seconds later, you're like, I need to call the ambulance, I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> and then six seconds later, you're like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's such, like, you're, you just have no length, it's like if you forget like those people who have a 10 second memory uh -huh, that's second what it's like dude <laughs> like you, like if you get that high it's just like you have no and you're just chaos you're just spewing chaos it's just scary for so long blacking out because your tears down is a crazy phenomenon dude that shit sucks. should not be allowed i dude i will never i will never do that dude, again smoked a fuckload of dank and i was on a eight to nine different heavy medications bro month. that shit fucking Woke sucks up two days later and couldn't remember shit That's i will scary. say though sometimes i get to that like point of being high where i'm like i'm a little uncomfortable you've reached the bro factor i'm a little uncomfortable <laughs> uh -huh. but then like sometimes when you like just go to bed and mm -hmm. you fall asleep and you wake up like 12 hours later you're like oh my god God, I feel so fucking good. Dude, right when I reach, you know what I reach mean? that peak of like, oh, I'm so uncomfortable, I'm about to vibe. Like, yeah, that's, right, that's yeah. I'm, I'm gonna like, let go of my insecurities and just fucking Smash vibe. <laughs> yeah, I um, let go of my, my uh, any instinctual, like, societal Dude, someone practice. said, one time I got so high on edibles, I thought Entourage was a very intense drama. I don't even know what I Entourage mean, maybe is. Maybe some episodes. But... It's a TV show. I watched the Batman, dude. I need to watch. I need to watch it. I dude. I think I'm gonna like it, but I'm gonna be like, ah, it was okay. Dude, I watched uh, the new Spider Man. It was still in theaters. I dude, saw. I saw it like four days ago. Fun fact, true fact. I have never watched a single Spider Man movie in my entire life. Oh yeah, I mean that's... ever. And there's like 12 of them or 9 of them. I have never seen one of them. Dude, yeah, I you I have just not I can't be surprised personally anymore. So many people have hit me with those. And not me, me myself even. Like Ryan's never seen any Star Wars movies. Uh Zach's never seen like any movies in general. I've only <laughs> seen the first newest Star Wars movie. Well, okay, I've that's seen wild. like I've seen the old 3. And then I saw the three that, uh, uh -huh. you know, whatever. Right. And then, the then like, years later, they just did uh, the, the newest, yeah, like, yeah, the on, first bro, newest honestly, one. Honestly, the new Star Wars is... And then like, they did, like, six more, and I haven't seen any of those that's either. That's fine, yeah. But, like, I, I, the thing is, is I like them when I watch them. I just don't ever feel like I want to put it on. Mm -hmm. I want to just watch, like, some background shit, right. like Sinister or mm -hmm. Conjuring or Stitches right. yeah, or yeah. Hoarders, and then just fall asleep. Like, I don't want to mm -hmm. watch new shit. I feel like the cartoon would be good for that, the 
Clone Wars or whatever that one's called. Yeah. That one's probably good for the background. You should rub Dickie's foot. You want some of that horny, Just one foot. horny exclusive what content? Kind of monster wants Did you one, hurt your foot or something? Foot to get rubbed. Yeah, you should rub pickles. Is that what happened? You should rub pickles. Oh, foot, for, yeah, that's Poor exactly. Boy. Give him a little massage. Uh, you guys ever thought about getting a trampoline? I used to have one. I wanted to yeah, actually get. Remember when I was like, "Hey, I'm gonna get like six trampolines, and I'm gonna oh, yeah. set them all up in the yard, mm -hmm. so you can literally bounce from every end of the yard to every Dude, end of the honestly, yard." Honestly, you had that idea before TikToker started doing that. Bro, yeah, that was back in like 2016. Yeah. I remember, yeah, that, that you six plus that you you had that idea. Dude, that would have been funny. fun. I still might do it when I actually like, buy a house. That'd be high. 100. Look at all my tramps. One time I got so high that I kept jumping a ditch thinking that if I fell into it, I would fall into an abyss. Oh my god. Yeah, I mean, that's just disassociation right there. Dude, one time I was so, so drunk I got Jacob dropped Jacob Gardner, yeah, what's up, guy? Love you, man. Spidey Marathon. Okay, I'm down. Sorry, go ahead, Austin. Papa Bowie. Sorry, I didn't mean <laughs> no, you no, you're good. I, was Jake, I, I know Jacob, so that's cool. Jacob. I was just saying, I got uh, dropped off one time at like, a breakfast that we did after work, and I was so drunk that I like turned around to wave goodbye, and I just fell because I spun too hard and just fell asleep in the yard. <laughs> I just like woke up like four hours later like, oh. Holy shit. Hope nobody saw me just sleeping in the front yard. <laughs> but I had like takeout in my hand too. It was so funny. Okay, let's let's all do a fucking shot for Taylor Hawkins. Yo, because yeah. everyone's still talking about it. Yes, we are very Yeah, aware I'm surprised more that there's more new people coming in that, that's, that haven't that's been, that don't know that. Very, very sad. Oops. But let's celebrate Rest their peace, life Tay -Tay. as a great fucking drummer for a great fucking band and probably had a great fucking life. Bop a buoy. And let's not, yeah, let's not continue. Down the chute, because we all give a oh, hoot. Dude, oh my god. Cheers, so matey. Suck. Fuck. Ugh. <laughs> Bop a buoy. Reesh! Okay. All right. Uh, what's nine plus ten? Nineteen. Oh, nine plus one? That's a twenty-one. Any answer on uh, my D? Hey, answer my DMs. No, fuck you. Yo, thanks for the dono, Ethan. Let's take uh, a rip. Ethan says, let's take a rip. Mission. Okay, let's do it for you Ethan. Two dollar dono. Yo, do they have hype trains on YouTube? No, I they have should. never. They should. I have live streamed once uh -huh. on YouTube in my entire career, and it was on my birthday when Eddie Van Halen died. Oh, and good. I live streamed a like just playing, oh, yeah, I playing, did. playing I for him. That. I that's the that. only live stream in ten years of doing YouTube I have ever done on my channel. That's yeah. the only you can fact check this. Mm -hmm. That is the only one I've ever done. I do not know shit about live stream. Dude, we've but done, honestly, we've done. So, they should have a hype train thing on so YouTube like they do on Twitch. On Dicky Dines, that we have that iconic one where we did like five hours. Uh, when they, remember when you broke the chair? Yeah, dude, yeah. that shit was funny. I still we gotta do this more often, that. man. This yeah, is these fun. are great, dude. How long are you guys streaming for? I'm probably gonna head out in like half an hour, 45 minutes or so. Baba booby. Yeah. I, oh, yeah. I have a friend over. I don't want to keep her waiting, you know. Keep her waiting for me. Hey, yo, I must be behind you, Taylor. Yeah, hot Taylor. Inside, yeah, small yeah. cup with big doink. R.I.P. All right. Uh, you hit it, and then I'll hit it after you. What is your favorite WWE wrestler? Rey Mysterio. I, ooh, uh, Sting, back in the day. I, he was kind of cringe, but he, you know, I fucked with him. Wrestling is cringe. What do you mean? Yeah, that's true. That's very. True. I like Sting. Sting was cool. Or Goldberg. I was actually a big Goldberg fan. For some reason, I don't even know I why. I like Kane a lot. Take another toe for me, guys. Kane was sick, Kane was actually. Yeah. Oh, Undertaker was cool too. Yeah. Pizza. Oh my God, bro! You're gonna get me fucking sleepy on this live stream. <laughs> Thank you, honey. Do you want to have a drink with you? I'll be fine. Thank you. Appreciate you, honey. Wine, sauce, or anything? You're with the pot. Oh, this is perfect. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. You were real one. <coughs> Yo, shout out on God, real OG. Shout out, I love you. Do <coughs> you need anything else? Uh, what? <coughs> yeah, can you throw up a gang sign real quick? Which one? Nice, that was sick. <coughs> I love that you say appreciate you because I started doing that too. Mm -hmm. Especially with like waiters and waitresses. Yeah, I like, I, yeah. it's like I was like, oh yeah, thank you. Very, appreciate very conscious you. decision. Yeah, I tried to because it's a small little thing that they're like, oh cool. Like, like oh wow, I'm not just a drone. Instead of just being like, oh appreciate that, right, or right, like right. appreciate it. Like, you or, know, like, like, the, 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 I the appreciate cool you. You know, mm -hmm. that's a cool thing. Y'all exactly. should say that to your peoples. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you. Agree. Appreciate you. Did you watch the newest? Uh, 
on Texas Chainsaw. I have not. I, I heard mixed reviews. I thought. <coughs> was it good? I have a lot to say about it. <coughs> <coughs> so but, it had moments, um, but it was not good. If you were trying to look at like a critically like scary movie, it's horrible. Okay. It's like not good at all. Okay. But if you just want like a like a like a popcorn shut off your brain movie, it's, pretty, it's, good. it's funny. Okay. I thought it was super funny. Okay, so right was, now is what I should watch. <laughs> yeah, because it's it's dumb gone. as fuck. It's not. It's it, but it what it does though that works in my opinion is that it kind of makes fun of the genre of slashers and what they've become. Okay, it's it essentially makes fun of a lot of Halloween <clears throat> and their sequels and the idea of like bringing legacy characters back. Okay, so there's some fun subversions. Yeah, uh, and it's brutal. There's a lot of good gore. Uh, but it was funny, and that's what I think a lot of people are, are lacking, is that they want a really scary Texas Chainsaw movie, which I get. But it was if you go into it thinking, oh, this is going to be an entertaining, gory, dumb popcorn movie, I think it's actually more enjoyable. So, like, critically, probably a three. Okay. But casually, like a six or seven. But, like, how does it measure up to Thanks Killing? Oh, I, I would watch this before I'd watch Thanks Killing again. <laughs> Dude, Thanks Killing is so good. Yeah, yeah but that's like a one-time watch. I fucking love that movie, I, I, You watch that once with your homies, uh, and you're like, all right, we're good, right? We're y'all ever been to that? Texas? Yes. We've been there for like five, six, seven days. Mm-hmm. I mean, we were there on that tour alone for four days. Which one? The Texas. When we went oh my to God, the, that's such yeah. a big fucking state. Dude, we went to like, we were in uh, Dude, Fort Parker Worth. Corpus, Pisty, bro. We were in Austin. We were in Dallas. We were in uh, Corpus Christi. Corpus Christi. Where, we were somewhere else. That was the last one I think we did, wasn't it? Was or it was four or five? Four or five shows. What was the first one you said? Um, it was Austin, right? Austin, Dallas, Fort Worth, Corpus Christi. I feel like we, we might have played two more. shows in Austin, perhaps. I feel like we had one more somewhere else. I kind of feel like we did too. I don't remember, but we've been there again after that. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we've been to Texas quite a few times. Yeah, Austin has some good restaurants. Bro, I'm about, about to move there just because the housing is so fucking cheap. <laughs> and fuck right, this state, <laughs> dude. I, no, Texas. Okay. <laughs> did I tell you about that house in yeah, Tennessee? Oh yeah. Yeah, it was crazy. Bro, did I show you that house? I'm pretty sure. Sold for 750000 Bro, it was a 9,000 square foot mansion on 50 acres. Oh my god. For seven fifty. dollars You know what that gets you here? Bro, what? A crack house next to Safeway. That's what, like, fucking dude. That's crazy. I'm about to get the fuck out of here. That's crazy. Like it's wow. so shit. This place wow. is not not good. What a what a number. Um, Eric Lamb says you guys have helped me through so much, yo. Shut up. Um, <laughs> yeah, shut up, you <laughs> fucker. No, I'm just kidding. I love doing that, by the way. It's a funny joke I do when people say something really endearing. I tell them to shut the fuck up. Yeah, but you, it's not <laughs> so funny if you have to explain it to them. <laughs> it kind of is. It. I okay. Fuck that sentiment, by the way. <laughs> I hate that sentiment. I've made a tweet about that sentiment. <laughs> What'd you say? That shit triggers. Me. What'd you say? When people say uh, if you have to explain a joke, it's not funny. Yeah. Because what about how about maybe you didn't get the joke and that's why it wasn't funny to you. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I don't agree. I, what do you mean uh, you don't agree? If, I don't if, know. if you if a comedian tells a joke and eight people laugh because they got it and two people didn't, that doesn't mean the joke wasn't funny because they didn't get it. True. Because eight other people thought it was funny because they got it. Yeah, but if I don't get something, okay, well, like I don't know. That's I see it from the fault, I see though. it from the other side because sometimes I'll play joke like jokes on people. Uh-huh. Knowing that, like, I'm sacrificing my integrity to have a funny joke with this person uh-huh. that no one will ever know. Right. But I will still yeah. commit to it. Oh, absolutely. To just yeah. do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, regardless. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, what, what like, does that have to do with that? Though? Well, it's like, it's, like, it's like the opposite of that. It's like the opposite of that. Like, uh, what do you mean? You're doing an act for no one? It's like selflessly? No, with what like, you? like... Like, when you have to explain it, like, when you have to explain a joke to someone. Dude, that's funny, though. If you ever like, told somebody about a story right, and okay, to scare so somebody you were in the closet and it didn't work out. Sure, exactly. That's hilarious. Yeah, but it's funny in so, and of so itself. So, if, if I watch a Bo Burnham if video you then go with explain a 13-year-old it, and they don't funny. get it, but then I explain it. It can be funny, though, if you explain but it. But that, in, in and of itself, is funny. That they don't get it. That's hilarious. Well, no, 
I mean, that adds to the meme, dude. Not like, necessarily. Because there because are people, some people who get are just it and there are people on who things don't. and they don't understand it. I don't think explaining a joke devalues the humor. I, I, it's like it's like a magician what about, showing what his What about trick. when you watch a movie and you didn't fully understand it, and so you watch it again and you're like, whoa, there was so much subtext I missed. Sure. Does that mean that, the movie's bad because you can oh. have it... Well, then what's the difference with the joke? Why because the movie's not explaining itself more. I'm just picking up more in that case. That's a little bit different. But what if you have to watch it again? Because you didn't pick it up on the first watch. Well, that's fine. But, like, they're not explaining more. I am just adapting more information than I did before. Man, we might have to agree to disagree on this. I think we I might have to. I absolutely do not I think, think explaining a joke to. makes it less funny. I think jokes... And that's fine. That's fine. We could disagree. I think sometimes, though, when people, like, don't get the joke, that's even funnier. Yeah, but it's also like kind of that's sad, almost though. even funny because then I don't it, pressure, agree, I then don't it might pressure them forward to laugh at shit they don't get rather than ask what that meant and have new context going forward and learn something so the but next time that joke have comes you up, ever they get it. have you ever scrolled Facebook when there's a meme posted and there are people who get it and then there that's are the people worst. who don't and the Dude. people who don't <laughs> are fucking funny. hilarious that, there's something and that funny adds about that. to the meme. Yeah, but that's a different thing. Of the that's... joke in and of itself. Yeah, you know that, what I'm that's saying? a completely different thing. And that goes, like, a broader spectrum of meta. You know what I mean? That's, yeah. like, into the real world. Like, oh, it's even funnier because there is this group of fucking Karens who don't get it. Yeah, I, yeah. You know I, what I mean? I, I agree with that. But then but if that you come out devalue... and explain it, then the whole meme just dies. Okay, to a degree, yeah. Like, to they, a like degree. The, the Owl City yes. guy explaining his own meme killed the meme. Like, I yeah, exactly. agreed with you, for sure. Exactly. But, again, watching, like, Hereditary with someone who's just getting into horror, and they're like, what? I don't even understand what happened. To, like, walk away thinking that was a bad movie because you didn't get it. You know, like, that's disingenuous well, to the whole point okay, of yeah, the thing. Okay, yeah, but to what you said before, to watch it again, uh -huh. and then, like, you just watch yeah. it again. Yeah, but with a like, joke, that isn't, isn't being explained a joke the same thing as watching a movie twice? No. Because you now you're getting new context. No, no. It's the same experience. You're not getting anything. You're, you're not you're getting, gaining new context. You're, no, you're not. You're not getting Probably any not. new info. Because you're not getting That's any point, new you information. New you are adapting to the information. Which requires Be, new information. But it is not what do you being mean? explained to you. But you, you watch. Watching it a second time gives you new perspective because you know not, how it ends. It's not being explained to you. In a way it is, you though, are because that's adapting. how they wrote it. That's how they wrote it, though, you were so just that it would now, be that way. Okay, I watched it once. I'm watching it again. Yeah, and now I'm and understanding now you, it. Exactly. Yeah. You are. They're not telling you more. You're watching the same So how is it joke different thing. from that? If you don't get it, but then now you get it, how is that any different? If someone says a joke, you I don't get like it, and I, now I get it, I don't why know. is Chat, that different? Are we going, I don't know, are we going, <laughs> what's, what's the, I don't know. What are we, like, do you understand what I'm talking about here? Someone says, dude, weed, someone says, nah, Jared's right, someone says, you're saying the same thing. Um, I don't think we are saying the same thing. I don't think we are. Love drunk philosophical. You can't look at chat to decide an odd, <laughs> Have you everyone's going to be even split. met an e-girl before you? Um, oh wait, hold on. Click that middle one. We're gonna miss someone that. Someone said one. Jared is drunk. I yell when I'm wasted too. I'm not the yelling. Fuck? You're not yelling. Okay. No, no. See, see, I get that all the time too. When I get passionate about something, I just get really serious. Yeah, well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get it. to a point where we can have an understanding, but I, I think we need to. Like... I get. No, I said I agree. I get your perspective. I just disagree with it, and that, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> someone said it's funnier when people don't get the joke. And that's what I'm kind of like saying. But it doesn't devalue my point, though. Just no, it, do, it's it more doesn't. Funny now. No, it doesn't devalue your point at all. I think there's just there's just people who are gonna see both sides. I think. I agree with that. That was that's the different point, though. Right. I just don't think you're gonna agree on it. I, yeah, <laughs> absolutely, I agree. I okay. agree that we're not. Uh, <laughs> Calabib four ninety nine says, uh, "What do you guys?" Think will be the biggest metal bands in like five to ten years from now. Probably MGK Ooh, yeah. when he goes to metal. <laughs> <laughs> How funny would that be if every five years oh, you I'm actually sure switch genres? To. Also, thank you, Calvin. Sure that was like your to. third or fourth or you've yeah, been sub or you. donating a lot. We appreciate um, biggest that. metal bands are still going to be the ones that are big now. So you're going to see a bunch. You're still going to see Metallica. You're still going to see Falling in Reverse. You're still going to see, um, you know, I mean, what I think you... Judas Priest just broke up actually. Oh really? I think I saw that something makes sense. about they're, that. They're, they're out there. Yeah. Uh, is the Stooges still going? I feel like they're still doing shit. Didn't okay. I was gonna say you're still. I feel still like gonna, I've seen that dude everywhere. I was gonna say you're still gonna see Gojira everywhere, but didn't they oh, just? Everyone was saying that earlier. Yeah, they, they, they like broke up. I don't know like, what break that is. Up? Like, dude. Do you guys have any info on that? 
Because people in I think, chat were I saying I think that. they might have broken up. That sucks. Yeah. That so sucks. They just but put we, out a sick album. Hey, at least we have what they put I, out. Yeah, already, that is fair. They know. got some good Maybe, albums. But maybe that was the last shit they would have ever put out oh, anyways. I like that point. And now they're going on to different things. I do like to think about things like that. That's exactly. A good, that's a good point. Exactly. Like what it could have been, it could end up being worse. So like being thankful for what it ended up yeah. stopping on. Someone said Austin's right, and another one said Austin's the right one. Okay, see, it's... Well, people are saying Jared's right, too. Though. Exactly. It's, 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 we're going to be split on it's this. It's split. It's a split. We'll absolutely be split on yeah. this. Okay. Uh, really a blonde girl with a love of metal uh, donated $1.99. She says, broke right end. now, but I'll chip in because y'all make me happy. Uh, Hell yeah, blonde yeah. girl. Thank you so much. Appreciate, appreciate the hell out of that. Thank you so much for your dono. Yeah. We appreciate you giving up, especially if you broke. That means a lot. The yeah. only extra effort on that. Thank you so much. Agree to disagree, exactly. There's an absolute yeah, so nothing someone said Jared's right. Back in the day, you but then, like, to... like, like you were saying, someone said, I don't think it devalues a joke, which I do agree with that. Mm -hmm. I do but that was a different that. point. I don't, that wasn't the main point you were making. That was just something that we came to as a side argument. You know? Yeah, exactly. Uh, but that was like, you know, back in the day, you used to ha be able to live next to your fucking conservative neighbor if you were liberal and, like, be okay with that. But yeah. now it's like, I don't know, when people see people argue, they're like, stop fighting! It's like, we're just... Expressing our points, I don't think it. Right. It's like I'm not mad. Okay, this at is <laughs> this is my point. Uh, I think this sums it up. He said, "When you explain a joke, you have to add new information. It's less like watching a movie again, more like a sequel to a movie you didn't get. Basically, like you didn't get it in the first place, but now you're. You know what I mean? Okay, flip that to the joke. <clears throat> right, but that they still have. Applies. But there's a. Okay, if I tell you, hey, knock knock, who's there? I, I, no, Mayonnaise. I, we got to that. We already, oh, splat. We established that. I don't get it. I already agreed with that. Point. Okay, and That's then a if I point. sit here and That's then a say, thing. oh no, it says splat it's because a different it's supposed thing. to be calm. Completely different. Okay, but a movie, there's no new information. You're just understanding it okay. differently what when if you, you watch it the what second if no time. One, no, what if no one explains the joke to you? What if you just like sit on it and then you're like, Oh, now I get it. Like, with uh, it's just now it's dawned it, on you. But at the time, that's you didn't my get it. point. It's you figuring it out, and that's why you shouldn't explain it. You should let them figure it out, or if they don't, <laughs> they add to the humor of the fact I, okay, that they don't but get it. Does that not deprive people though? Of like they, the, of like the ability. But it's to hilarious critic. to the people who get it. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But I feel like there's a nuance to that of like I agree with that point absolutely. But also like, okay, you agree. Th there's also oh, yeah. humor in explaining a joke sometimes, like being the deadpan oh, oh, explaining yeah, of a sure. joke. So like, there's like nuance like in the moment. There's yes. nuance to this. Is my point. Like I'm not saying that it's like I do agree left with that. and right, no, black and white. I do my agree point with that. is that there's. Uh, just because you feel this way doesn't mean it's yes and no. There's like little in-betweens of this to like we just provided both sides have different points to, yeah. to be made and agree with. Yeah, exactly. Alright. What's your favorite metal band from Canada? Gojira Breaking Up. Oh, it's not. <laughs> Probably Stevie T's solo Canada? project. Uh, maybe Angel Maker. Ooh, that's a sore subject. What? What do you mean? Because they were gonna play at my house, and then the oh, COVID hit, and we had to cancel the show. What have you heard their new album? So pretty sad. It's pretty good. Uh, what? Who from Texas is your favorite death metal Ooh, band? Igor, dude. Remember no, them? dude. Yeah, but Texas. Uh, who was that one band that when we were in Texas, they like? I think it was Corpus. No, it was. Oh, that was in Florida. Was that no? Yeah. Was it? Well, Corpus is a city in Texas, but the, the band, band is was in Florida. Yeah, they're from. Florida. Oh, that was in Florida. Yeah. Fuck, I thought it was that was when the dude from Road. That's how tours go. You just don't even remember. A dude, straight up, it's so hard to remember what city or state you were in. Um, Dicky, what is the, what are the best deathcore bands to see live? Uh, you won't be able to anymore. But Strangled, you should watch their live video on YouTube. They they broke up, but wow, they they were probably one of the craziest ones. Uh, Acacia Strain is pretty insane. If you're trying to headbutt people or something, they probably got some of the most violent deathcore pits I've seen. Um, but if you want like actual like fist fight pits, you got to go to like hard hardcore fists for that. <laughs> uh, yeah, for sure. Or, like beat down. Um, Traitors and spite probably. Dollar ninety nine. Michael Schneider. Schneider. Judas Priest is on tour right now. Oh, I I just saw Wait, some article that said that they were like tour. like Bro, breaking I, out. I felt. Sl I, I feel like Slayer did like a 30 year farewell tour. Yeah, well, the <laughs> Eagles. Dude, the Eagles literally did a farewell to tour.
like the second farewell tour like that happens all the time that's pretty funny <clears throat> a sequel to your tour <laughs> exactly that's honestly iconic exactly strangled were crazy they were nutty yeah. ao rip taylor hawkins oh, have you listened to landmarks before? Uh, yes how do you feel about them I, I like it i think it's cool I feel like that tone's appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing interesting. Yeah, there's like there's cool, cool. Par- there's cool parts. Yeah. Like I think the vocalist is kind of like a standout of it, but yeah. Uh, is Reaper a cool band name? Asking for a friend, it would be if there wasn't a character in Overwatch dude. called Reaper. Or just a great dude. A uh, Google Reaper, right? Like you're not gonna. Pop How are you up. gonna find your band if you yeah. have a name called you, Reaper? You're gonna have to change your name to a Reaper Band. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Um, you, you should be a rapper and call your name Do Reaper. <laughs> you heard Kane Hill? Yes, they're sick. They keep, yeah, they changed their sound so much, bro. Dude, good, the like, thing great. about band names, bro, pick something that is not something you can search. Like, mm. just make up something. Right. Like Van Halen or fucking like Breaking Benjamin or Chevelle. I guess. Well, I guess Chevelle was that's a car but like Honestly, that, when there's Vans so that, many dude like they're corn, just being like that's our thing now but with a k right they spelled it if you type in k-o-r-n yeah, you're find finding it. one thing and that's it that's fair yeah. like think that's of a, really good a name it doesn't matter like make it probably like one word or two words uh-huh. and just like simple easy nothing that you can search because when people want to find your band they're never gonna find it if it's something like Reaper. Yeah, I don't. Or see, you'll get the you know uh, what I mean, like or the character like you said. You'll get you'll a get... thousand things before your band, unless your band pops the fuck off. I'm sorry, does that say Vagina Queens? Vagina Queens. There you go. It's my band name. Exactly. Oh uh, well, we know what genre you do. It's either porno grind or slam. Scar the Armada. Scarmada. Scarmada, dude. Crimson <laughs> Armada. They were oh, they yeah, were pretty throwback. sick back in the day. <laughs> Um, thoughts on Mom Jeans, the band. I never heard of them. What about Mom Jeans in general? I like Mom Jeans. Okay. Respect that. It's a good look. I respect that. Depends who's wearing them, you know? Okay, that's a better point. It depends that's who's honestly, wearing that's them. a better point. <laughs> Hear about the last 10 seconds of life. Austin, you definitely know the last 10 seconds of life. Dude, yeah, I don't know what's going on. It was, uh, remember, I don't know, you remember the Drown and Sulphur defame situation? I remember like you whole... trying out for them. For last ten seconds, yeah. yeah. The uh, <laughs> de- de fame is like, well, I, I don't even need to explain that if you don't know it. But the everyone quit on the drummer for last ten seconds of life. Like mm. the whole band quit except Jesus. for the drummer. So there's like was a the new, drummer the asshole? I mean, that's what's to be assumed, right? Yeah. But like, there's nothing public about it right now. Mm. But uh, that does seem to be a kind of a more common thing than you'd expect in right. like, specifically deathcore, for sure. Where the whole band quits on the drummer, and then the drummer makes a new band, and it's or the like guitar player. Scared. You have a drink? Yeah, yeah, let's see this. Cheers. Over on the still th- like. I know, it's like kind of funny that it hasn't fallen. Just chilling. It's, it's trying. Just chilling. Pizza fuckers. Mmm. Jesus Christ. Uh, thank you. For sure. Alright, let's see, you fuckers. Let's. Let's wrap this up in like 20, 30 minutes. Yeah. Um, Yo, any of you, we got a lot of people here. Any of you guys play uh, Super Smash Brothers? Yeah, Ultimate? Hit him up. I am absolutely trying to play in that game all the time. <laughs> we're trying bit. to do, if you're local to uh, fucking Washington, we're trying to have like tournaments once yeah. a month. So if you want to come and play. Can I get the balls and go to a local tournament? You can come, but don't be happens. fucking cringe. That's the only thing. Like, Straight don't, up, yeah. like, don't also, act like you know also, us. Also, don't bro. steal my controller, please. Yeah, and don't do that either. Is that really. Did that happen? It was an Just accident. Your sure. Is that uh, Jordan and Kenny's friend that they brought? Oh fuck! Man. I don't think he meant to do it, but I'm a we had the same right we had the fuck same you. exact controller. But oh, mine was okay. mine was I used it twice. It was brand new. Uh, when I got home, was checking it out. Three of the buttons were sticking. Oh no! Like, you had is, the wrong controller. Like, this is an old controller. This is not yours. Yeah, and he left. <laughs> he left first, so he took mine on accident. Oh shit! Or, you know, I just I would like to assume that. But rest uh, in peace, that controller. Rest in peace. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Sirens are coming for you. Yeah, you guys can hear that. Yeah, oh, yeah, we got another here. dono? Shit, you guys uh, popping tonight, man. Shout out to wow. Jared. I'm going to say shout out to Jared and Austin both because we're both sick. 
Been on board. <laughs> been on board with this guy for years. Awesome dude that deserves to be rich as fuck based solely on his character. Well, you know what, man, Scott? Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yeah, like, Scott knows what he's um, talking about. We're rich in one way or the other. You know what I mean, brother? We're rich in love for we're, one another. We're rich. Exactly. We're rich in love. Even life, if man. sometimes I need Jared to explain it. To I wish you the best, Scott. Thank you so much. That's really nice of you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, well, Johnny said we would. I think um, that's nicer to him. Did we with thoughts on Suicide Boys? I've only heard a couple songs, but I, they're kind of hard. I mean, I think they're girl, I think girls are just as likely to kill themselves. So like, I don't think yeah, Suicide really, Girls, yeah. same shit, yeah, for sure. Uh, um, no, I like Suicide Boys. I actually did like a metal cover of a Suicide Boys song, uh, "Materialism as an End" or whatever that song. Oh, called. okay. Uh, yeah, it was, it was. I love, dude. I love when screams are on trap beats, like dirty bass trap beats. Dude, like, I love that type of shit, man. Yeah, even um. The impending doom vocalist. Yeah, uh, Wrath of uh, Man, I think it's called. Uh, man of God. Man of God. OV. Though. That's right. Man of Wrath God. of Man. I'm fucking. You, honestly, you know you, what that's I'm talking so about. That's sense. pretty close. That's so, like, <laughs> you, those are like, if you like, get a dictionary, those are synonyms. Like, yeah, like, pretty <laughs> much. No, his shit's sick, though. I like his trap his stuff. Even though really there's like sick. a lyric, it's kind of funny that, like, you yeah. know, trap it's song is called Man OV. Man of God with a V. Yeah, his shit, dude. But it's like traps cool or like, shit. it's like impending doom over trap. He's got some cool shit. It's, that's, like, it's like pretty it. fucking sick. Um, is there any band with the name Slay the Messenger? It's what me and yeah, our Kill band are debating on. Yeah, we know a Kill the Messenger. Slay the Messenger just sounds like Slay the Spider to me. Yeah, straight up, I would ditch the Messenger. Slay the Messenger? I feel like too many bands have done that already. Just call yourself Messenger. Um, or go even more artistic. Who's the Who's the Greek guy who was the messenger who had the boots that made him fly? Oh, um, like do something de like derivative of that. Fuck, yeah, that was uh, not Achilles. No, uh, was it? No, it was. No, uh, that was a different foot guy. <laughs> 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 no, it was. Um, no, not Orpheus or. No, you're getting. There. I feel like it's with a P. Oh, with yeah, a P. I, I have it. I have P, it. Maybe. Chat. Anything? What is this? What is this fucker called? Hermes! It's Hermes. Oh, okay, yeah. It's yeah, Hermes. That guy. He was the fast... Yeah, yeah you could do something with yeah. that, I bet. Some kind of, like... Yeah, messenger... Or, like, translate I wouldn't what use that Hermes, means. but, no, no, like... Yeah, like take a, no, change it, though. Like, what does that translate into? You know? Like, I'm sure like go I'm deep sure... with it. Yeah. Saying. Exactly. Like, yeah. take what your point is and like make it more artistic. Like, or even like, on a simple level, like the new Dark Watch thing that we did. Yeah. The whole point was that like all the songs were gods and goddesses representing a coherent story. Okay. And so I was like, the basic premise is like this <laughs> cosmos is cosmos of gods. You know, like kind of telling one story in the world. Right. And it's like the cosmos specifically because it's like throughout time these stories are similar. You know. Uh -huh. And so I was like trying so hard to come up with like how do I come up with this and I ended up on uh, now the whole thing is cosmos. Cosmodius, and it was just you know caught the word cosmo and then deus which is god in latin uh -huh. so it's like a you know it's like not as in depth but, but it's, it's like something a, it's a if, compound. You, if you searched it you would not find anything but what you did well, and how cringe would it, it be to have god cosmos as your thing like, you know, like <laughs> this doesn't sound nearly god as cool knows. but Cos cosmo deus Cos sounds god. pretty cool so it's like like that's yeah, the thing that dude. Like, you, can, you can have it be like literally any any word make up a mm -hmm. word make up a fucking word and just use right. that like, cause God, C O S G O D. Yeah, that's Use even that. that's even a cool Use name. that. Use that. You'll never find any. Like, search it. There's nothing that shows up mm -hmm. if you search that. Okay. Even killing Hermes is a cooler. Name. Killing <laughs> Hermes is cool. I like that. Um, cool, but it's like better. <laughs> it's better. <laughs> We're getting uh, Devil's Corpse 28. Yo, thanks for the 99. Oh, dude, bro. somebody asked earlier, have you heard Corpse Grinder solo project? Um, I have heard enough of Corpse Grinder in my life that I don't dude, want to hear no, he anything sounds else way that he has now. to do. He sounds way better I'm now. Sure he I does. Uh, he still he has care. a better producer, that's what it is. No, anyway, dude, screams different. 999. Sorry. Let's hear some metal improv. You want to do the 17 second scream at the end of Warpath of Fifth or King? Ready? Only if we do the posture. One, two, three, four. <laughs> The end of Warpath by a Pepper King. Enjoy it. <laughs> the people who get it get it. The ones who don't will never laugh at that. But that was really funny. Um, <laughs> my solo project is called 
eschatologist, which means studi studier of the end time, studier of the end times. Eschat how eschatologist. Bro, if you say that to somebody in person, they're going to say, hmm. What's your band name, eschatologist? Oh, were you a librarian? Hey, can you send me a link? Hey, are you a teacher? Are you a librarian? What, so how much does an eschatologist make a year? What grade do you teach? Uh, my, my band's called uh, Etymology of Man. I will not repeat it. <laughs> Death's some potential. Hell yeah, let's go. Uh, Jared, are you that high where you think Corpse Grinder is bad? Yo, Corpse Grinder is not good. I'm telling you, Have you he heard that song? He what is that better. song called? He got better. What is that song called? What one? I don't know. The one I sent you. That's not Corpse Grinder. That's what Chris Barnes. Oh fuck! I'm thinking of Chris Corpse, Barnes. Corpse, Corpse Grinder's neck guy. No, okay, no, Corpse Grinder's sick. Okay, Dude, you holy I shit! Cast I cast thought you were talking song. about Chris Barnes. <laughs> holy shit! Okay, no, I no was wonder thinking, you were so dismissive. I was thinking I was the so original you really fucking vocalist of Cannibal Corpse. Yeah, Chris Barnes. I was thinking. You you were talking about Chris Barnes. I was like, dude, Chris Barnes is so bad. What the fuck? Okay, yo, <laughs> yo, yo, shut the fuck up, That's Chad. So funny. Listen, That's so funny. Corpse Grinder. That's so no, funny. let the records say that I think Corpse Grinder is the fucking man. He is oh sick. God. I thought you were talking about Chris Barnes. Oh, that fucking little oh, goblin of a man. Yeah, I, was gonna, I was about to pull my phone so and be like, have you heard Dude, this that fucking new, yeah, that song? That new song you sent me? I wake up in the middle of the night. Day. What the body in the tree? It's so bad. There is a body and I'm running out of blood. Yo, fuck you, chat. Shut the fuck up. That's so funny. Shut the fuck but up. No, Corpse okay, Grinder no. Has a side Cor yes, solo project, yes. Corpse really Grinder good. is he's got that fucking <sighs> like it's so, oh, it's it's so, so good. Long. Corpse Grinder's good. That's so funny. holy shit. That is so funny. <laughs> what a I, oopsie. Did I am, we read that ten dollars? So uh, uh, not. Yes, I did. I okay. did read that. I went. Uh, there was this one. You can just click on the top. Uh, pour one out for Taylor oh, Hawkins. Wait, rest in peace. And then pour Taylor Hawkins some Grizzly Aces. Rest in peace. Pour one out. Pour one out for him. Yes, rest in peace. That's such a bummer. Um, holy shit, dude. I, I'm so sorry. I'm gassed. You had me hit That's this fucking funny. donkey cock of a bong. <laughs> donkey bong. And now I'm just like in the ethereal world. Do you have a letter? Yeah. Do you need? I think there needs more reading. You know what? Oh, you can clear it actually. Probably. Maybe I don't. Know. That's so funny. That was a great interaction. Those moments are my favorite. Yeah, no, Corpse Grinder's sick. I totally misunderstood that. Um, now, now I'm thinking about the, the reality where, where uh, uh, Chris Barnes features on the new Ice Nine Kills. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, Corpse Grinder, I'm so sorry I said that. I mistook you for Chris Barnes because I'm very stoned right now. I love you very much. You're amazing vocalist. Uh, please don't beat me up. Um, I've please always been a fan me. of your neck and your please voice and your work. Um, please continue to do what you do. I love that you're a gamer, too. You're really, really cool. <laughs> you know what's funny? I love you. Uh, Peace out, my guy. Corpse Grinder is such a simple man. That he, he made a... But he addressed publicly why his neck is so big. Yeah. Like he was like, I headbang. Like, yeah, I just, you know, I, I, I've, I've been headbanging I since I was a young kid, and it's just like years of touring. It's like, yeah. that's so wholesome that you thought you had to actually address that. <laughs> With every hit, Jared forgets the front man of Campbell. <laughs> that's literally what happened. I missed, I, I don't know why, when you said Corpse Grinder, I thought Cannibal Corpse, and I just. Chris Barnes, Barnes so instantly. <laughs> but yeah, the, uh, yeah, no. Anyways. You ever listen to Dia Side? Somebody was asking that. Yes, I have. Thank you for the $2 donut, by the way. I think sure Brendan showed me that man, actually. Alex, what are your thoughts on Dia Side? I don't remember them very well. It's been a minute. Heavy. It's been a minute. Yo, what's up, Nunu? <clears throat> have you listened to the new Pale Face record? No, I have not. Uh, yeah, I just wish that dude would quit trying to make the laugh his thing. I've never heard of them. The, that band's almost sick. The vocalist has his place in the band, for sure, but he does this thing all the time where he's like... <laughs> he just likes to be the Joker. Like, in every music. song, and it's just not convincing at all, and it, it genuinely takes me out of the song every time he does it. So is it that someone gets shot just around the corner? 
<laughs> this, been, oh, no, this, this is crazy Graham. This is sirens, Graham Washington. Bro. Hey, you know what? He says that as a joke. Did you know that there was three shootings recently, like in the area? Oh, for sure. Yeah. And I was like, when well, there was recently shootings in yeah. the area. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I'm we live in the fucking guys. ghetto, my guy, and it's still uh, fucking expensive as shit. True. Uh, Chris P, two dollars. Thank you so much, man. You missed my last oh, one, but hi. Dude, that's Chris P. And the loss, then the lobster. It's so. a, you know what's funny about him? What? Is that he has been since a day one since I started doing Twitch. Uh huh. And we were I originally when I was doing Twitch every Monday I we would like I pick a movie for chat to watch and we'd all watch it in our own time and then mm -hmm. talk about it the next Monday. The that sounds like a cult. It was <laughs> the, 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 the cult. It's a book club. For, for, for <laughs> it's a movie club. Uh, yeah. And the last one that we've uh, settled on was the lobster. And, okay. then, and then I never did a movie Monday. Again. Oh no! And so, so he always shows up. The and lobster. Like, the, you we the need lobster. to talk about the, lobster. about the lobster. That's so funny. Yeah, I need to do it. I'll we'll um, look for him one day. Uh, Nikki mm, Vile. Five dollars says, "What is happening in the background, bro? Well, this you, is this well, is." You've never, uh, been, you've never been in a poor neighborhood, sure. bro. We live in the ghetto, dog. People slang heroin out here I mean, and shoot Austin people in the head. In Austin lives in the ghetto. I live. Yeah, he's 10 just minutes. outside of the. Precipice. I live ten minutes from the ghetto. He, he lives right where it starts to get nice. <laughs> <laughs> like right past Outlook. That's like the entry level. Of like where Don't it's tell it's people oh, that, dog. <laughs> Don't tell people where I live. They're gonna know. I'm They're gonna about, come and stalk I'm me. Talking about the hot dog chain. What are you talking about? You in the hood? Damn, people are roasting you, fucking. Well, dude, my neighbors have like, I, okay, a van I grew outside up of their here. house that says Karate Kid. I grew up here. It's not that bad. There's just some shit going down right now. Okay, you it's, live in the world. You ever been in a city before? That be happens all the time. Shut the fuck up. Deal with it. Cascades or Ryan, five dollars. Cheers from Bellingham, guys. Yo, Whoa. yeah, he's from. He he kind of knows. <laughs> Bellingham's like a nicer Capitol Hill. You ever feel like, have you ever been to Bellingham? Mm -hmm. It's like a chiller Capitol Hill. Like, if you've ever been in this area, you know what I'm no, talking Capitol about. No Capitol Chill? Uh, thoughts on Emo Trap, Lil Peep. Uh, I like Nothing Nowhere a lot. Lil Peep's cool. Yeah, Nothing um, Nowhere's a roller coaster for me. Like, some shit I really like, some shit I don't care about. Exactly, yeah. Did we get that other five, 499 one? I think we did. What's well, okay, happening in the background? Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I got them. Yeah. Thank you. Staying up the touch. Dollar ninety nine. Josh does stuff. Says loathe or Deftones. I don't know much of loathe, so I'm gonna say Deftones, obviously, because I just don't know loathe. <laughs> My age is showing. I loathe because I don't know much about Deftones, other than like, <laughs> the three songs that I like. That is kind of that stuff. That's like the po like if she doesn't you know if she doesn't choose these starter Pokemon, what she's too young. There's a bunch of pizza right here. Oh fuck! <laughs> no, I put my hand over there. I have my extra pizza. Oh, that's your extra <laughs> no, pizza? I, I don't know what's over there. I like went like that. Oh. <laughs> that's that's funny. Funny. Like, my extra kid pizza behind me. Holy shit, that's funny. Okay, um, Devil's Corpse uh, says, Hear me out. No. You guys should make some melodic lyrics with some metal instrumental. I think we have. Can't any lyrics be melodic? Yeah, I mean, I'm assuming he means singing. Oh. And with some metal, like like a, <laughs> you know what I mean, like power metal kind of shit or something. Oh. I don't know if we could do power metal. Who I couldn't I sing it. Know. We had to find a power metal vocalist. Yeah, like Vince maybe. Vince could probably. Well, I don't know. He's got a lower register too, though. Yeah. He's got like a like a baritone oh, yeah, tenor. Like the, you need like an alto for like for like the constant notes. Yeah, like melodic like power metal shit. Yeah, if that's what he means, I don't know. Um, let's see, yo guys, you should rate fan submitted screams for a video. That would actually be fucking hilarious. That's a good idea. Because most of them would be stupid. Yeah. And the ones that were good, help, people sure. would be like, yo, hell yeah, that was sick. <clears throat> Bro, yeah, how many times honestly, do you open your Instagram DMs and it's just like... Well, the thing, dude, is like, I, I almost, I almost shit? feel a responsibility to be honest with them to a degree because it's like no one else in their life is telling them how bad this is. Right. And they clearly lack the self awareness. So you have to tell them it's not good. Yeah, it's like I feel responsible. But keep working. Yeah, obviously. Obviously, keep working at it. Yeah. But it's not good. Yeah, you get. I honestly like. That would yeah. actually be a really funny video because there would be so many people that just be like. <laughs> 
Yeah, I need a little reality. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it would be Which like, like okay, that's funny. Like, oh, it's a good time. R2-D2 <laughs> like with sound. death metal vocals. Dude, what the fuck is um, going on? Uh, Foo Fighters released a metal album today. Coincidentally, on the same day, Taylor Hawkins died. You should check it out. Yo. Yeah, I'll, I definitely will after this. For sure. Rest in peace. Yo, thank Hawkins. you. Thank you for the five, man. People are dying all the time, man. It's fucking shitty. Kind of where crazy. is uh, weed is legal where they live? Yes, it is. True. It is 100%. True that. There is a dispensary five minutes from where we live. Yeah, fuck yeah. That place is so it tight. Is right there, my guy. My guy. Just walk in. My name is Jeff, and also my guy. Thoughts on Turnstile? I don't know Turnstile. Uh, honestly, they have some cool music. Their new stuff is like hit or miss. I think it's a little overrated, personally, but mm -hmm. there are like a couple singles that I do fuck with. Yeah. But I've heard a lot of people like praise the new Turnstile, and it, personally, it doesn't really tickle me that way. Yeah. But if it, I mean, if it goes for you, like check it out for sure. But I don't know. There's like three songs I fucked with a lot, and the others I just did not care for. Gotcha. Someone says, hello from Port Angeles. Munchies, you are now thinking of potato pancakes. No, I'm not. I'm thinking of the munchkins from the Yo, Port Washington. Angeles is sick, though. I used to work up there. I used to repair sewers and uh, drain pipes back in when I was doing construction. I would go up to Port Angeles all the time to work up there. So, yeah, that's a cool spot. It's a really cool spot. It's really, really pretty. Right by the coast and shit. Um, is that good? I agree on the idea of rating fan screen videos. That'd be cool to see. Yeah, I think, I think it'd be really yeah. funny. It'd be funny. Yeah, we have that fun. We just couldn't make fun of people too bad. You know what I mean? Or we could. We can't be too mean to people. Like, they're trying. You know what You I mean? can be mean as long as you give them, like, honest criticism after. Well, yeah, honest is should be for sure. Helpful. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, obviously, you're not trying to bully people into, like, not doing the thing. But, like, I think a little humility goes a long way. True. But Jared says hello from Ellensburg. You used to drive oh, wow. up there. You used to drive up there all the time. Yeah, that was my first accident I've ever been in. Yeah, it was, a, it was your, on my your, way. Your, your your girl used to live up there. Yeah, I, I was on my way to surprise her, and it was snowy, and I spun out on the road and hit a guardrail going like 60 miles per hour. I bashed my head in the window. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, that was I. You know about emergency shut off pumps in cars? Like there's like an emergency shut off switch in the in the back of the, your trunk. I did not know that. Oh, dude, that blew my fucking mind. I like I slam, I like spun out, slammed in the wall, my car wouldn't start again, and I called Nicole's dad, uh -huh. and he was like, "Go to your trunk," and it was like Shawshank, dude. He was like, "There's a little box at the bottom of your trunk. Lift up the car. <laughs> it's on the left panel." And I did, and there was a little button back there, and I pushed it, my car turned right on. I was like, what is this thing, dude? What the fuck is this little button back here? But it's called the emergency shutoff switch, and it turns your gas flow off, so that if you get into an accident, it doesn't leak gas onto the floor to like, cause a fire. Yeah. <laughs> what a crazy thing. I don't know. So, that blew my mind when I found that out. Chris P says, all right, I'm so high, I'm so high that my screen is pulsing. So I Jesus. think I might go to bed. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little too high, maybe. Yeah, go, yeah, go to bed, my guy. You'll be fine. Did you hear about Don't somebody said something to the slaughterhouse? Did you hear about Luke Griffin being a, a tow guy? No. He's like a tow fanatic. No. He, he he messaged uh, he didn't know it, but he messaged Tyler Shelton's girlfriend and asked her for tow pics. Oh no. It's <laughs> kind of funny. That's that's hilarious, actually. <laughs> Who's going to Blue Ridge? Are you going? I'm playing it. So Dude, Scion. Sheesh. Yeah, what are you, are you driving out, flying out? You I, do I have no idea. I have no fucking When is it clue. again? What, what September month? 8th through the 11th okay, in Virginia. I have no idea if I'm driving or flying. I cannot answer that right now. People who like feet are wild. <laughs> I, I mean, whatever. You're into what you're into. But yeah, it is a little strange. Uh, Luis uh, Al Altieri says... 420? 420 says, A.O.S. Stinky Dinky Boys. <laughs> Finkle the Dinkle Red Boys. What does that mean? It means he Smoke wants weed? you to take a fucking hit. Yeah, That's like. I just took one. Don't take it. They're not in shit. Yeah, she. I'm down on the road. I think I've said that I have to leave in like 30 minutes for like two hours. <laughs> that's totally fair. But that's okay. <laughs> Alright, let me load it. Let's do it again. I heard nothing last time. <laughs> you guys should play Chaos Alberta. <coughs> I don't know what that is. We'll check it out. Dude, who told you that name? It's my mom's stripper's name. Damn, yeah. You want to talk about that? <laughs> Damn, yeah. All right, boys. If y'all legal, 
and y'all smokers, let's hit this shit together, okay? Y'all, uh, 300 in the chat. And, uh, yeah, let's do this, guys. Let's do it. Cheers, matey. You may not be here, but you're you're kind of here, and so... You're here in spirit. Fucking get it, whatever. Over, under, or pull my socks until I become a Australian sooner. Let's go, my boys. And yes, it is legal here. It is very legal. My goodness. Jesus Christ. Great. Cheers, guys. Must it be? Oh, uh, <clears throat> random question. Yeah. So I was thinking. I pulled. I already pulled, pulled the songs. I was thinking about making like a tr one of those like try not to headbang challenges for us to like react to. So it wouldn't be somebody else's. It would be one I curate. Mm -hmm. Would you be I mean, down I've to do one of those? That. I've done that. They always did really well. Yeah, I, mean, I feel like that's a thing that people talk And it's like a good chance to show people new shit that maybe they haven't heard of. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Because I, I, yeah, I recently just like made like a template so I have like 15 I'm down. like parts. Like, I'm always down to like showcase new bands. Yeah, I love that type of shit. If they're sick. Very true. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Fair. If they're Fair. sick. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Let's give a farewell to Jerry so he can actually get out of here. Yeah. We've been keeping him hostage yeah, for what a round. Time is it? Is it I don't know if my phone's show I'm recording this. I can't. I don't know. Oh wait, down here maybe. Dude, we gotta do this more often. Like, let's do this at least, at least. Nine forty-seven. At least once a month. Absolutely. But yeah. But maybe like every couple weeks. I don't know. Whatever you guys. We should start with like once a month, and then if we feel like we're like, yo, let's just do another one. Yeah. Like so, I feel like if we have the obligation of doing two, it might be like, I don't know, like sure. make us feel Too weird. Much. But if we do one, and then we're just feeling another one. Yeah. Then like, let's do it. You know. Oh yeah, because yeah. this, this is, is so sick. sick. I, this I can't is so how many sick, are dude. Here, hanging out. I love you guys. Thank you so much, everyone yeah. who's saying bye. I, pre I love all of you. That's so ones. fucking sick. Dude, yeah. Oh, yeah. Remember, if you're trying to play Smash. Fucking. I mean, add me on Twitter. I'm trying to play tonight. <laughs> yeah, you're trying to play. Okay. Yeah. All right, yo, I love you guys. I love you so much. Big love, y'all. Appreciate you. Y'all, some real right, ones. Do you want to? Do you want to end it together? Yeah, and just, yeah, just close it out. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching this live stream. We're gonna try and I think we should do it at least once a month. Yeah, on absolutely. Maybe this is so much. We fun. should promote it though. We should like tell people mm -hmm. for sure when it's gonna happen, uh -huh. and so they can like prepare for yeah, it. Yeah, I'd 100%. love to make a flyer for it. I've been fucking with Photoshop yeah. a lot more, so that'd be if cool. If we did that and just did it once a month, that'd be like the dopest fucking yeah. stream. Like, yeah, honestly, that would get like that, this is dude, some sick shit. So sick. Anyways, um, love y'all wild, y'all wild. So much. I'm gonna, Big I'm gonna get a ride home and. Big peace, y'all. And, uh, yeah. But love y'all. Mwah. Mwah, mwah. Take care. Thank you for all, all for hanging out. Uh, yeah. Love y'all. Thank you so much for spending your time with us. Thank you for the donos. Thank you for your time. We'll catch you on the next one, mother.